get used to that. What, not understanding or not being able to finish the game? I'm, I need to plug in my phone, my, not my phone, my controller. My phone is plugged in. I need to plug in my controller, though. Is it game? It is. Game EXE. Yes, yes. Good to know. Which one is it? Playtime 9 hours. Or is the one that's 10 hours? Need to lurk shortly, more training to go through, good luck. You've enjoyed it? I have enjoyed it! It's so badly put together! Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but... What floor are we on again? Hey, turn my... volume down. Better than being in the dark! Come on, let's go! Such an unoptimized mess of a game. It's doing my head in. Oh, here come the creeps. Not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Taro promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed it... into paste, burned and Vic has been Canadian about it. I was expecting more girls, but I'm liking Toko a bit more in this. You literally are the complete opposite of everyone else, fictional. <laughs> Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. Anyways, Monica, why are we not holding a funeral this time? I think Toko is the proof that that they had no idea what to do with this game because they've written her so wrong. You might like her because she isn't written correctly. But that's a, that's a, um, that's a, what do you call it? That's a negative on the writing, you know? That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. Imagine if Kamaro's forbidden action was climbing ladders. Oh my god, imagine. Yo, cursive! Well, actually, I mean, yo, Chris as well, but also yo, cursive. <laughs> How are you both doing? Oh, that. I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter. We can't even fill the coffin anyway. Well, they got bored. You got bored of it. Guess we don't really have to. Oh god, nothing's working again. Why are none of my things working? Guys, why did none of my commands ever work? Why is BikuBot breaking all the time? No, 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 no. But um, do you think Jatiro really died? Hmm. I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a teensy bit curious. I'm guessing she's the next one that's gonna die. It sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Huh? Like I said. Oh, nice. You got a short work week? Hell yeah. I'm very low energy as well. I do have a cream bun in the fridge, though. No, not at all. There's no way Monica could be wrong. I also was watching stuff about, um... The Genshin Impact content creator drama this morning. Aren't the people who put Worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong? Worcester sauce on fried eggs is really nice, actually. Mm. Mm. Well, I was just a little curious, that's all. My head's just a little out of place right now, is all. I'm just a teensy bit curious. Syrup with bacon? I wouldn't put syrup with my eggs, though. It's America Day in a few days. 
deflated, wooing. Oh, yeah, okay. I f completely forgot about that. <laughs> Syrup on bacon works because it's the sweet and then the salty, right? I don't think I'd quite... Mm, maybe, maybe if I had bacon and eggs. Worcester sauce on eggs, though, is fantastic. Like, I like eggs full stop, but something that gives an egg a kick... Oh, nice. I need to remember about America Day, though, because I always forget to wish people a happy America Day, and it upsets... Avia, even though no one ever in my Discord wishes anyone a happy St. George's Day. I don't even wish people a happy St. St. George's Day, but I get in trouble for not wishing everyone a happy 4th of July. <laughs> I bet you no American would even know what St. George's Day is because I'm English and I also don't know when it was. Syrup on eggs is not something I do by choice, but if syrup gets on my eggs, I don't hate it. Oh, that's fair. You're just a sweet, gentle little girl. Huh? Gentle? Kotoko, you were so cute, as always. Oh, here we go. I I said she was probably going to be the one that got mishandled by a pedophile. Because America Day is the only important one in it. <laughs> Fuck America Day. The director, the producer, the sponsors. Everybody was super happy. And now... There's another business you have to attend to, and your mom's gonna come with, okay? It's going to be all right. Kotoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. I don't know if this... I don't know if this is, like, what you were talking about, Warded, when you messaged me, but, like, if we're getting... A big thing. Like, with, like, flashbacks to this one particular girl. I don't like it. We had no flashbacks with the boys. And the boys went through traumatic stuff. I don't get why we need a flashback with one of the girls. Very, very and this, this is just... I love Romper so much. I love the overall story. But this is the weird shit they pull every fucking time. And I don't like it. Also, I should say... Um... I have put a trigger warning now in the pinned message. There's one in the title. They talk about deep shit. I think most people here know they're going to talk about deep shit in these games. But trigger warnings, just in case. Because I do read all of the all of the notes out as well in my normal, happy, you know, me way. And they're usually about death and suicide and stuff. So trigger warnings everywhere, guys. Trigger warnings everywhere. Uh, St. George's Day is April 23rd. There we go. I didn't know that. My dad wished me a happy... Wait a minute. Let me put me over this because that, that that's less annoying. Well, le less disturbing, I should say. My dad wished me a happy July 1st yesterday. <laughs> There's two things wrong with that. We say Canada Day and it was still June 30th when he said it. <laughs> Yes, this is the main reason. I had a feeling, like, I didn't say, I love, I love, um, Dagon Romper, but, like, this is unneeded. Go the context with Missouri without a flashback. Do we really need one here? Yeah. If anything, I would have kind of liked the flashback with Jitaro. I know that's gonna, that's gonna make Dogma depressed as, ha depressed as all fucking hell, because Jitaro drove me and Dogma insane last stream. But, like, I would have liked to have seen what his mum actually did to him. Or why she put the thing, or the mask on him. I don't need to see this. Don't no. need to see it. I don't want... Gentle. I'll do anything, please. Just not that. You don't get a happy Canada Day from me, Fick. I didn't get a happy St. George's Day on April the whatever it was that war it said. Would it probably be a better one to include a flashback with? Yeah, because, like, his trauma was really interesting, right? Like, 
I say interesting, it wasn't interesting, but like, it's an interesting concept, right? That, um, like, like his mum would hate him and think he's so ugly, she'd put a mask on him. But we obviously knew he was going to be absolutely beautiful, right? So, like, it, it, was, it was madness. It was madness. And I would have liked to have seen that, you know? I wouldn't have liked... I, I don't like using those kind of words because people are going to take it out of context. You won't. But, like, someone could take it out of context and be like, oh, she wants to see an abused kid. No, it would have been a nice bit of context to add to that character who was fucking annoying. You don't need to see a little girl being abused. Like, you, you just genuinely... You don't, and so many of the female characters get abused in these games. It's it, it's just... And none of you fuckers wish me a happy St. David's Day. Excuse me, I'm pretty sure I streamed on that St. David's Day. And I did wish everyone a happy St. David's Day. Because was it on Pancake Day? Or was that, like, last year? It might have been last year. <laughs> I definitely, the day, the, the year that it was on Pancake Day, I definitely said Happy Pancake Day and St. David's Day. Make your pancakes in the shape of a whale. I definitely said that one year. <laughs> it would have been more interesting context. It would have been. Sometimes we wanted the stories that happened to be awful, but it's weird to say. Yeah, like, I, I would have liked it to happen because, like, obviously it gives the context you need. You don't need context in this. You you don't need context in this. They've already... I already knew. I think War it like... War it had kind of warned me, but hadn't really said. And I think War it could see the moment that Monica started shouting about pedophiles, I just went... Ah, that's where we're going, you know? Like, I, I just knew it. That everything had come together and it was going to be his big chance to, to go into this pedophile thing. And I, I don't get it. I don't get why that's his obsession. And again, not like he's a pedophile or he's obsessed with pedophiles, but, but like it's the one trauma for children that he thinks he just needs to repeat time and time and time again and hit you home over and over only with female characters. I don't remember a single male character that, that has been abused like that in any of the games I've played of his. It's always female characters. <laughs> It doesn't even pull the heartstrings of him because he handles it so bad. Well, I don't know if he wrote it. Did he write this or did someone else write this? Jeez, to make you end up like this. It's as I've always known. Demons are the worst. How can they be so blind? Because don't forget both Ikane and Mikan in Danganronpa 2 were both abused as children by adults. And look how both of them turned out. One was a prolonged sex joke. The other one was personality equals boobs. You know? I was half expected to run. Okay. Good luck with your training, buddy. Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat, more worthless than dirt and disgusting. Filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! You know what? I will give him this, though. Monica, by far, is the most compelling character he's ever written. Monica is actually genuinely a fantastic character. Like, she's genuinely using the 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 things that these kids fear most against them to weaponize them. It's really interesting. It's about what like Jungle makes sense when you watch the anime and you see like Jungle in the anime. Like, it makes more sense there. And again, I don't know who wrote the anime, so I don't know if that was him or they had someone else write the end of the story for him. But Jungle makes more like in this in the game, she she she's fine. She's a good antagonist in the first game. 
In the second game, obviously, she's just the computer virus, so she isn't really here and there. But, like, Monica actually genuinely is quite terrifying. I don't remember that about Mikan, but I didn't even try to befriend her. Uh, yeah, Mikan got abused. That's why, um, when you befriend her, she'll be like, Oh, you're angry at me. Do you want to take me to take my clothes off? Because that's, that's basically what the adults made her do. guys doing oh, it's Nagisa. now's not the time for banter we've got a lot of i need to add this song here. to my playlist i love this song i need to download it for my videos if i ever make youtube videos again i've been too oh, depressed to do it recently are you perhaps jealous what are you talking about what do i have to be jealous of throws on my american hat gun and big trip big old truck What you're trying to say you, you can't do that today it's kind of today you have to smother yourself in maple syrup and sing oh canada along with the canadians who apparently all know the words to the national anthem by fucking heart all the way through like i said it it's not that at all <laughs> and don't forget to apologize for it too <laughs> Yes, I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent studying. Lyrics have changed. I was gonna say, I didn't know the lyrics could change in an anthem, and then I realized, like, of course they can. Ours changed because we don't have a queen anymore, so it's God Save the King. So all the word, all the, all the gendered terms have been changed. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society, Future Foundation. It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the... You should be more gender world. neutral. Ours can't be gender neutral unless we have a gender neutral leader. Ours has to... Because ours is just literally about our monarch. Drinks maple syrup of a hockey puck. Oh, that sounds sexy. As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Happy Canada Day. Hi, sorry. Am I streaming on the fourth? Amazing, amazing. What day is the fourth? Oh, I never noticed the back of her dress is like a skeleton. See that? Oh shit, I am. I'm gonna be streaming on America Day. Wait, Mom. Ah. Hey. Ah. Not squeezing too much. I wonder what what um the geese this thing is. Maybe abandonment. Close to me is all. Aww, you're such a shy boy, Nagisa. Meow. Stop meowing. You're not a cat. Continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Yeah, you're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon. The silence. Hey, you're listening, right, Kurokuma? All right, you can talk now. Kurokuma? Who? Who is this? <laughs> I can finally talk! Finally! Whee! Hi, hi, hi there! <laughs> that was tough! 
I shall not be silenced. Not have to keep him quiet for that damn long. Damn, even someone extremely good at talking like me is already tired out from running my yap. It's like the hero is still in its child face, but the warrior alien brother already showed up. That example sucked. Damn, this fatigue. I'd say I'm only about a third as sharp as usual. So anyway, the hell are we talking about? You saying something about making adults into sausages? Gonna pull sausages? Out the grind them up, make them into yummy, cruelty-free cuisine. And cuisine? Then them in a supermarket and become an urban legend. Huh? Now that sounds awesome. I want to see that. <laughs> in New York, eh? We're not at the first floor yet? This is an emergency ladder. Why'd it stop halfway? Jeez, this half ass ladder. Where, where is the person in charge? Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Just jump in the river. Uh, you're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already oh, on the second floor. Oh, we're getting in the dark out. again. I hated this. I must uh. actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrooms? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. It, it's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope, that's all. The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. I'm not reassured. I fucking hate the dark. <laughs> if it stays dark like this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. I can feel death behind me. Oh, go well, shut up. It's not that dark. A bit longer, then. Not that dark yet. What's that over there? A power panel, right? Those where? Right, isn't it meant to be like up there they? How oh, dare they? It's gonna happen, guys. I can tell it. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna turn the lights off again. Wait a minute. Definitely no sparklies. No sparklies. Monokuma looking computers, though. No sparklies. No sparklies. After seeing Holy Hina's brother explode? Darkness. I mean, it'd be better yeah. than the dark fucking sections in this now. game. Get My sister's here. already calling the baby TT Nugget. Hey, that was me, and you scared Choco out to death. All the way to death. A challenge? Again? Find the light in the darkness. If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like we've done something like this before. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? <laughs> the light in the darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? What room? This room? There might be something in this room. Let's get this over with. Pick up your pace. Dark for you're 
doing it just to mess with me, aren't you? It, it's uh, not like that. All right, let me write that down. Two, five, one, five, zero. Step born. Step born. You get down on the floor. Where are you? Where did Toko go? Oh, she, she she ducked. She weaved and ducked. Do I have to make those six-digit numbers four digits? What do I have to do? Okay, I'm sorry, but how many times am I going to have to tell you to use the damn detect? Can I turn the lights off in here, though? Oh, I get it. Uh, I... Two, one, nine, seven. So I'm sitting to hold your hand again, which is annoying. It, it really is, yeah. Two one nine seven. Yay! There's no riddle I can't solve. Yeah, calm down, lady. You only solved a child's riddle. I'm still angry about the riddle the other day, the the gunman riddle. It was a badly written riddle. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story for now. I see. Monokuma there. Oh, look, see? Barkley. I'm not 100% going for an 100% anymore. Like, the game annoyed me too much to care. There are big balls? There are big balls. Left from a tour tower employee for not the bag. Fantastic. That what he see shared. Well, welcome in, Presto. How's it going? If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey. Hee hee hee. New technology can sure be sketchy at times, huh? Time for a tutorial. Now this is a really dangerous room with lots of Beast Monokumas that lurking around. Here's the Beast Monokumas are controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. Don't be afraid. As long as you can find the singing child, you can disable all the beast monokumas. The Iron Maiden shaped like a monokuma, aka monokuma maiden, is where the child is hiding. However, choose the wrong one and you'll get jumped by a mo beast monokuma. So look for the correct maiden while you try to avoid the roaming beast monokumas. 
Beast monocumers move in a specific pattern, so it would be a good idea to figure that out. So when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. There's also a visual guide that will give you a good idea of where the singer is. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. This is just annoying. I would like to say I'm having fun, but that would be a lie. That would be a lie. I'm doing this for the law. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. So you can move to that room. And you can check in. You don't want to go up to the top because there's three up top. so we don't get caught. I think it's this one. See, that's okay. The fact that they give you a visual guide because if, if, if that was just without... If that was like a... You had to hear it thing. I, I would not have been able to do that. And that would have been really annoying. Do I want to shoot him on? Move is a terrible name for that bullet. But it moves things, fictional. With this, we can get outside, right? Nothing to worry about now, right? Wrong. The ghost that wants to die. Taro jumped off the roof of the kindergarten, saying he no longer wanted to live, but now he has to live as a ghost. The life of a ghost is pretty hard. Even though he wants it to end, it can't end, but Taro had no idea. Let's just change the meaning of live and do that. Taro made a very strange move. Which reminds me. Hey Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? Are you serious? There's no way I'd believe in ghosts and all that paranormal stuff. I may be liberal arts to the core, but I am capable of thinking logically. Then why are you afraid of the dark? Ugh. You sure come gouging at me. Gouging? Gouging in my brain to force me to remember my trauma. The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of experience I had. Locked up in a dark place. Oh, you did something bad, so you got locked inside the closet? That happened to me as a kid, too. It's so narrow and dark. It really is scary, huh? This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. F for three this days? And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since then, my mind connects dark and trauma subconsciously. <sighs> Just thinking about it now is giving me goosebumps. Um, Why were you locked up and who did that to you? Uh, uh, I Remembering it is just... Sorry. sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, you shouldn't have. It's not probably the best thing to do.
I hate everything. I hate absolutely everything. I hate everything, guys. <laughs> Yo, Canoodle, how's it going? Thank you for the 20 month resub, my friend. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I must not die. What in the world is going on? There's not enough information out there to say for sure. But I know one thing. I have to make it out of this town. Until I know for sure that my wife and child are safe. I can't die. As a husband, as a father, I haven't done my job yet. If I die here, I can't give my wife and my beautiful child the life they deserve. I also won't test it. Same. I think that's one of Rinsman's things in the Discworld. He's like, do I believe in gods? Yes. D do I believe in a certain god? No, because if I did that, then all the other ones would hate me. <laughs> Just knowing that there is enough to put the fear of them all into me. Okay. I think you'd like Rincewind as a character. In the books, he's very, um, very pessimistic and down to earth because he, he's been through a lot. Now I'm tired. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> SMT persona jokes. It's a good thing we got out of there, okay? But being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? And the in the disc world they can they, they play with but rincewind last, quite often they found out we contacted future foundation somehow that's why they interrupted the communication after that we we really won't be able to contact future foundation ever again he went with conan the barbarian up to the gods to blow them up though i don't think he was trying to blow them up I think he was trying to stop the heroes. From, I think he did, in the end, stop the heroes from blowing the gods. But I don't even think they could technically do it. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't. If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. No one fucking cares. Baikua can die. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl. I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything. Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. We could change the facts. We don't need to, you know, like you sacrifice earlier, us for him. You weren't serious, were you? What do you mean? You said you were going to kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right. I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So... You'd even kill your friend? You watch the anime? Did you watch three? What? Friends? Don't say anything a thing about three. Did you think I'd I grew tired of this game? You don't friends. need to play this game for three. I'm literally just at not I'm playing this game because um I didn't know if Vic would be ready and then it didn't matter either way because Avia's not around. So like as soon as Avia's back, we're watching the anime because I I had this game has nothing to do with the anime. Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But, but that's horrible. To be fair, this game has nothing to do with the with the story of Daganronpa at all. The, this game is really not worth playing. I didn't mean it that way at all. But Cow will wake up. I really do trust. 
You shouldn't trust her. She's a serial killer. She's already told you she's a serial killer. Came to my life gone three times in my dreams anyway. Oh god, this guy's back. You didn't think I'd still be talking? Brush her hair? Fictional, remember, she doesn't even wash. Let them brush her fucking hair. Hey, by the way, when is that meat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? This is gonna be a once in a century event. I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket. <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre! What an awesome word! It's downright mad! Yeah, she's a stink. It's a Yakuza bat. Look at him! A great ring to it! A beat to it! The beatbox beating on my heart! We don't need this though. I don't know why we need this cutscene. So yeah, anyway. Yo, ABC, how's it going? Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me. I kill you. My fans would kill you. God, dogma, dogma. We killed off Jitaro and thought all of our all of our problems would be gone. And now they've put a Monokuma that is going to be even more annoying in the game. <laughs> we thought our problems were dead. They are not. They have returned in bear form. Well, maybe I just have to win you over. Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Cheese interjecting into my witty banter. You high bastard. Horrific idiot. <laughs> It's just the unneeded bullshit. The unneeded. Why is this needed? None of this has been needed. Like, just, we don't need this. <laughs> Doing good, Anna. How about you? I'm, I'm surviving. I, I'm getting through. <laughs> Not with the help of this game, no, though. Mind, just be quiet. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while. But I guess not. He may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of him if we want. They need us to extend the game so it's longer. I'd rather have the kids' backstories than this point. There! That's it! That's it right in a nutshell. There were better ways to use the time that we're wasting with bullshit. Like, I don't mind if they want a lot of exposition to explain things. Like, the, the original games are all visual novels, right? Like, I, I don't mind it. It's because it's all absolute pointless drivel that does... That it's not even funny. It's not even funny drivel. It's just drivel for the sake of it. Give me the backstories of the kids. That's what I want. Let's just keep him in silent mode. Hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica. In that case, I have no objection. If Monica is fine with it, so am I. Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my Kinda, hair. yeah. So they're, they're not quite ultimate students, but they are ultimate students in a made-up um, kindergarten, like preschool thing, or whatever it comes before high school. Um, but it's basically, this game genuinely has nothing to do with what the original games or anything like that were about. And they, their existence doesn't really make any sense to the, the to the plot of the story, you know. So, like, they, they are, but also that it doesn't matter because this game really, really doesn't actually add anything to the story of Dagon Romper. A 
Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Alright, middle school, middle school. They were they were probably well, I, I think these are even younger though, right? Yep, yep, right. As expected if I knew. I don't they have said. They have said. I just don't remember. But instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? We promised Big Sis Junko that the warriors of hope will annihilate the demons. Woo woo! Nagi-san and Monica are so vulgar! This is the so thing, cool. like, the people that go into Hope's Peak Academy in the first two games were, were people that, like, you don't know who they're gonna be, right? Like, they're just picked from the best of the, the, the kids coming, you know, going up into the school. You know, that there's whole threads online about who might or might not be going to Hope's Peak and becoming an ultimate, right? That, like, th there's no talk of schools and all this shit beforehand. And now we're meant to believe that, you know, you've got little ultimates. And I'm like, it, it doesn't make sense in the long run with what we learned from the very first thing in um, Daganronpa 1. There's no way I can lose now. I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up, right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! Whoops! I didn't mean like grown, like, in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew! That was a close one. Damn close. Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say? You guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Oh, uh, it's true that I may have chatted just a little too much, but talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine, just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. I ain't gonna uh, say gee, thank you. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read mine. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh yeah. Seriously. This was the crazy saying. This character is useless. It really Hello. is. I apologize. Uh, now I forgive them you. because this character can say everything he wants. This is my boy. <laughs> hey hey hey! Where the hell are you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? Nights 14 cigarettes! What are you, nuts? This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! A completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Take this! Oh, <laughs> good, good. Go for it. Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. I'm definitely thinking with my new model, I want his outfit. Hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me. You've got some nerve. Saying that while doing nothing on your own? Nothing? 
You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot, but I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. And that's why you don't have any friends! What? Good, stick up for yourself! Leave me alone. I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary Yeah, you would! Death. Fuck off, Toko! Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. <laughs> Rich coming from you! Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. It's like Toko in this game. They've made her super more unlikable than she already was. And I didn't even really dislike her that much in the first game. I'm in girl power. Okay. So you got some nerve? I know, right? Like, the, the girl that's been screaming because she's scared of the dark and shit like that. She's done nothing. There's only been one time in the whole game I've used her as a fighter. And that's because you can't fight the mono beasts without her. Tai Chin Chin. Tai Chi Fujisaki. A smarty pants demon with short curly hair. It's not really strong, but it's super smart to make up for it. For it. Hunting around machines is not a good idea. It's pretty serious, but it's still just a demon. I'd use my sexy charm to trick it. What? I also don't like that the game's like killing off all these people so so fast, you know? Use a fucking battery. All right, my break is coming up, so I'm gonna go on um break. I will be back in three minutes. I need a pee though. I should go and get another drinky. Another drinky drinky. Another drunky. It's a great movie. T Toa Tower Tower. Toko being like, you haven't done anything? Okay, you take this gun and I'll follow you and duck whenever you point it at things. I know, right? We're literally the ones doing all the fucking heavy lifting. She's like, you're not doing anything. You haven't done anything. Well, you're a fucking ultimate and all you've done is bitch and moan. Oh, she's so annoying in this. Oh, Batman beats her up in body walk. Anyway, I'm going to the toilet. Break time. The, the brakes haven't popped that yet. They never fucking do. All right, going. I'm gonna make that his, his goblin mode out. He's not allowed. His goblin mode thing is my favorite thing, and he now knows it. Butzland. I'm going to write a horror story about someone that eats so many bananas they become radiated and they become a, just, a, just a living banana, guys. The radio banana, active banana man with all the bananas in it, you know, just like. It's very quiet. It's a witch's pussy. Come buddy. Oh. Um. Uh, guys? Guys. Guys. Guys? You are the super mod. I don't know what I'd do without you. I, I just said them. 
You can clip it, and you can keep the clip. Sean is the super mod. This stream would be nothing without Sean. Where am I going? Exactly, Presto. <laughs> no! <laughs> There's no one close to me right now. I'm literally alone. God damn it. Where, where you deserve to be. Wow. 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 It's I'm fine. Go His go name myself. is Matt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Matt? You mean the guy from Loser? Bad. Bad. You, I swear to God. He did swear to God. Hello, I'm back. It's me. It's me, a not annoying bear. I hope. Maybe I am an annoying bear. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Am I an annoying bear? Thank you. Thank you. Oh fuck. There's a Monokuma door up there. Why is the fucking thing broken? Why? Guys, tell me why. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Sorry, I'm messing around with my bot. Give me a second. You're going to hear some beeps. Fuck my life. So many beeps. So little time. Enjoy these beeps. God, now it's not connecting to fucking YouTube Studios. I'm gonna have to change my bot. I, I'm gonna have to. It's so fucking broken now. And I don't know why. The movie said, tell me why the song started in my head. Tell me why. I'm nothing but a virgin with rage. If that doesn't work, I'm just turning everything off again. I I'll, I'll look at Mix It Up. That's the one everyone keeps saying to go to. I'm so, I'm so very sick and tired of my bot breaking now, and I don't know why it keeps breaking. he Labyrinth of Monokuma Man. Will you be able to get through the Labyrinth of Monokuma Man? If you beat it, you win a very nice reward. Hehe. Man's Labyrinth? 
Hit one. Oh, thank you. Ain't nothing but the fucking refrain. Take it out! Oh look, they've got their stats up. 220. HP and MP are the same. Oh, he, he's a glass cannon. Mizumi's a... Mizumi is not Mizumi, Nag Nag Nagisa, whatever he's called, is <laughs> on um, the glass cannon. She, she's got a little bit less, of course, because she's a girl. She's also kind of not strong. If I can get behind, which I think I can, and then set that off. Maybe then I have to set off the siren as well, but I can get them all here and then smash them with the car. He's gonna be all about murdering people. Are we gonna kill the kids? Uh, we don't kill the kids, no. The, the kids get killed um, by other kids. Yeah, the game makes it very clear we don't hurt the kids ourselves. Is it still going? Jeez, enough already. My beloved son, I sent my son off to school this morning and he came home this afternoon wearing some kind of helmet I couldn't figure out. I thought it was some kind of joke. When I asked him about it, a monokuma showed up out of nowhere and attacked me. I dodged the attack by a hair, picked up my son and brought him here to hide. On the way, I discovered several things. It's not just my son, the children throughout the town are all wearing them, and they're killing the adults with monokumas. It's as if my son changed to a completely different person. He just gives me a creepy laugh. I'm not even sure he recognizes me. I can tell he's planning to kill me. I remember the time I struck my son just once. But I love my son. I'm sure my son knows it. There's no way he would kill his own mother. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, like, you'll see, um, kids... Like, with these Monokuma masks on. They're the ones that, um, are killing the other kids. Throw them all with one explosion. If I knock him back, will that explosion then set them off? Maybe. Let's try that. Alright, that's what I meant to do, but I fucked it up, so I have to reset it. Is it still going? Jeez, enough already. Paper and also compares to an instance of child abuse. And, uh, boom. Oh shit, I, did I still didn't do it. What? He didn't die. Why? Why did the, why didn't that work? Is it still going? That's literally what I had to do. I don't understand this. It's fucking annoying because this uh, messes with your score at the end. I don't like that it's messing with the score at the end. Is it still going? Jeez. Enough already. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have a quick look. I'm gonna have to have a look. Dagon Romper. Co worker throw, like throw all this time. I kept fair. her wheel lock for her Just tires. I gave it back to her for sure. The bag for lug nuts because she wanted me to change her tires. Why would I keep your tire lock? Yeah, I've done these two.
Apparently you have to use break, not knockback. Oh, it does say don't use knockback. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. This game is so fucking stupid. This game is so stupid. No big deal if she wasn't insinuating constantly that I stole it from her. I just like, yeah, like, like if it was like, a, oh, by the way, did you take this? Like, I can't find it. I I'm guessing you might have just taken it with you. And you were like, nah, mate, I put it in here. It'd be different than if she was like, oh, you've stolen this from me, right? Who my ass paralyzed here comes another tutorial it appears you have obtained paralyzed paralyzed is a truth bullet that shorts out monokuma's electrical systems also enemies hit by that animal discharge electricity damaging nearby enemies to top it off if the enemy happens to be standing in water the electricity will damage all enemies touching the water you understand science right go on give it a try wipe them all out in one big shot There have been times when, like, a nice reward. Are you still going to run away, even with all your weapons? Still think you can't fight? I'm not doing this because I want to. <laughs> back for more despair. Welcome back. Fifteen ways to make that rich son of a noble family fall in love with you. There are myriad women who dream of marrying a rich son of a noble, but there are also myriad met women who are cu cruelly torn from that dream. So then what's the difference between the woman who lived their dream and the women who wake up crying? Simple. Whether or not they've read this book, even if I don't know these things, I'm sure it will be fine. Are you saying this to yourself right now? Don't regret it. The son of a noble family won't wait for you. Learn the 15 ways with this book so that you too can become the future wife of a noble son. I will hydrate. You want it? Oh, of course not. That was a stupid book. Everything will turn out fine between me and Master. He'll wait for me. Um, I think everything is going to turn out fine. Ugh. Act before it's too late. That son of a noble family isn't going to wait for you. So, you sure you don't want this? Don't mess with I said me. I don't want it. Even if I were locked in jail, I wouldn't read that garbage. I see. Okay, if you say so. And... So, who's the publisher? What's that? I I'm asking what kind of awful publisher would print this nonsense. Mm. Without reading this book. I know, right? Maybe I need to read that book. Oh, it is Monokuma. Stop. Oh, is that Junko in the middle? That's Junko, right? I hadn't noticed that. I, I was like, there, like, why is the pink haired girl there twice? And why is she on the throne? Isn't that Monica? But no, that's J Junko. They're still running there during the tragedy. They might be. All right, let's 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 have a look at our little Nekamaru. Hello, Nekamaru. Hey. hey, did you hear about this? Future Foundation is behind this whole thing. The kids, the Monokumas, everything. The incident has been calming down and Future Foundation is losing influence. They're probably trying to regain power by causing a problem and taking credit for the solution. Idiot. What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Of course they aren't. What? You know that for sure? I've also heard the whole tragedy was their doing. Either way, those guys are not to be trusted. You've got to be kidding me. If Future Foundation shows up to rescue the adults, I better not see you asking for help. <laughs> huh. It'll never happen. It won't happen because Toku told them not to.
Yo, Dyak, welcome in. Don't worry, this backup. I'll take it off your hands so you don't have to. Socky feels like socking all the socks. And just so everyone gets to see Mechamaru again. Look at him! Mechamaru! Our beloved. Try that ammo from earlier. The problem is, I am running out of this ammo. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, this is enough of the fucking... <sighs> God, I hate this. Why? 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 Nice <laughs> shielded one. It won't work even if we get a direct hit on them. Uh huh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Doodly did. I'm back outside, guys. Come around the corner. We're back. Let's do, let's do this. The, the skill shop first. Thanks for your business. Thanks for your business. No problem. Skill shop issues. I am just a skill issue. You are you really planning on going back? Where are you going? Fucking thought, mate. Alright, that was the sparkly. Alright, let's go get my coin. There's a sparkly here. Future Foundation, that's what they call themselves. What future? I'm gonna crush those hypocrites. Oh no. Beginning of the end. That was sparkly. How to kill demons. Masterpiece number three. Tie the tongue with a rope and then tie it to a really fast car to kill them. Nail a hundred gazillion nails onto them in a cool pattern and then they die. Make them drink a lot of water and then lock them in a freezer. Make them eat their own poo poo and kill them with fire. Ta-da. They'll never expect it. 
never expect it. I'll never expect the children to use poopy -poo on them. There's no point in being here. Toka, will you fuck off? If you're not gonna be helpful, just fuck off. The poopy criticism. <laughs> There's a sparky over there. Alright, so I just don't want to go up the ladder basically. Well, actually, there's a sparky down here. Let's go across the bridge and get that sparky first. Future Foundation's weapon. I found something interesting. It looks like a Monokuma has broken it. Though it won't be much use, but this seems to be a weapon designed by Future Foundation. It's some kind of bullhorn shaped gun. Future Foundation always blabbered on about peace, but their weapon was crushed by a monokuma in a second. Use this piece of junk now. Serves them right. Don't like us, guys. Okay, so we need to go past the checkpoint regardless. Is there anything here? Nope. Oh, is that one sparky before the checkpoint and one after? We can go into detect mode and detect. We've still got two more um bullets to get. I don't know. Wait. The spark is on this side of gone as well now. Excuse me. The spark is there. But there were sparkies on this side as well. The sparkles have gone. No, they're there. They're like in the. All right, they're in the middle. I get it. They were in the middle all along. I got told off yesterday for doing a dungeon. Uh, dire. That, that was definitely something. I just gotta use my dirty, stinking hand. Shirakuma. Um, hello? Hey, you too! Hello, me! Yay! Yay! You made it back safe! I How dare died. you, dungeon? Yeah, I didn't know in the hard mode Copper Bell Mines people just run through it and ignore everything. So I started tanking it and they were like, why are you doing that? Just, just run. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm here for, you know... To, to experience the dungeon, not just to run through it, but okay, we'll run through it. And then I try to run through a bit where I do. I I wasn't sure where I was going, and they made me run it. 
And then we just aggroed everything and wiped. And I was like, well, yeah, because you can't run through this bit. Now I want to hear the whole story. But first... Welcome back. Come, leap into my arms. Your arms, they're going to fall off, this mate. This developed a taste for hugs fast. Come on, don't be modest. Do it. Do it. I, yeah, I guess I can. I haven't taken a bath for a while, so I might be a little sticky. Oh, how about you comb out your hair, take a <laughs> bath, and change your clothes and undergarments first? Jeez, pushy. Why don't I just wrap myself in a bow for you, too? That would be nice. Uh, I was trying to do a dirty joke since usually I'm very clean. That was a change of pace. Anyway, you two must be tired. Why don't you just rest for a while? Put the mood in here. I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. Aside from you, everyone seems unwelcoming. Because they know you from the Future Foundation. Uh, that's not it. They're just shy. I mean, not just one, but two girls in school uniforms? That's enough to make a man's heart burst. I've heard that you only appreciate being high school age after you've graduated high school. What are they to do with you being the future foundation? Silence. See? Totally welcoming. Chirakumi, you're trying. You're trying. What the hell are you talking about? Are your ears busted or something? Hey, Shirakuma, thanks for the offer, but I really don't feel like resting right now. Kamaru, what happened? Did the connection not work? No, the connection worked fine. But I'm just not sure Future Foundation is going to come through. I see. So that's why you're so down. I'm sorry. Do you want me to pat your head? Pat her head? How many heads have you crushed with a hand like that? Like I said, I don't do anything like that. Yeah, I know. I trust you, Shirakuma. You're the only one I can trust anymore. <laughs> yeah, Toko. Yeah, fuck you. How am I hey, meant Shirakuma. to trust you when you've threatened to kill me what over your I boyfriend? I... I don't know what to do anymore. To tell you the truth... Haiji and the others are in a conference discussing exactly that. Why don't you go on in and join them? Huh? But that's not a good idea. Have you already forgotten you ignored his warning and went to Toa Tower? Oh, that's nothing. That was just a small misunderstanding. We still have the same goal. To stop these out-of-control kids and free the mistreated adults. Isn't that right? I... I didn't really think it through that far. No, really. I know you can do it. Huh? Rather, you have to do it. You have to be able to save the adults. W what are you saying? She's the complete opposite kind of girl you want for this. This is Armageddon, and we gotta band together and destroy that kid asteroid. Armageddon was a good film. Come Bruce Willis in it. Fantastic. Jeez, what's wrong with him? Mm -hmm. Sparklies. I hate how big this area is. Searching for sparklies is so annoying. Uh, uh, are, are you, you alright? Oh wait, they're talking. They are actually talking. This guy was the one shouting at the monitor before. Something about his wife? <laughs> so, how did he end up like this? There's a sparkly. How much longer do I have to stay down here? Days and days of this goddamn place. No more. I can't take it anymore. Maybe it's better to just leave her alone. Is 
list of charity work performed by Toa Group. Exactly three months to the day has passed since the true ultimate despair died. Though it isn't completely certain, it could be assumed that the world will return to its former karma state. To commemorate the peaceful future, let us celebrate some of Toa Group's charity work. 1. Development of the air purifier effective against the toxic air in the atmosphere. 2. Distributed their inventions throughout the world. 3. Manufactured and delivered weapons to combat the despair. 4. Supplied high-performance gas masks. 5. Built shelters in war-torn areas. 6. Detoxified portions of land and sea. I thought I heard a strange noise earlier. It's okay though, right? We aren't found out? It's going to be just fine. I think. I, I sure hope so, but I really do feel like I can hear them. Their laugh. It's going to be all right. Sure it is, right? Monokumas aren't going to get down here. It, it's going to be fine. Right outside. <laughs> it's no use. I can hear them laughing. Monokuma has a fantastic laugh. He's losing it. Afraid to tell you. <laughs> exactly. I heard you're from Future Foundation. And? What's wrong with that? I've heard rumors. Future Foundation wants to destroy this entire town. Huh? Uh, of course they don't. Who's spreading a rumor like that? I don't know. But I know there are plenty of people here who believe it. You should be careful. I am going to threaten a teenage girl on um, technically is she still a teenager? Yeah, she's 18. Just waiting down here to die. I would Yo, Tiff, to welcome in. Die there. I, I can't die in a place like this. Let me out of here. The tragedy was a Future Foundation conspiracy. Although Future Foundation's stated mission is to help the world recover from the tragedy, our editorial department has received a tip that claims Future Foundation themselves caused the incident in the first place. To no one at this publication's surprise, the true ultimate despair is at the top of the Future Foundation. The true ultimate despair's grand ambition was to reduce the world to a state of total despair. By inventing an opponent, they significantly complicated the situation to further plunge the world into despair. This opponent is Future Foundation. That organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional and try to combat the despair with increasingly drastic measures. The reason why it took so long for the incident to settle down was because Future Foundation was protecting the despair. There could be no other explanation. Consider this, the ones who developed the air purifier was not Future Foundation, but Toa Group. Isn't it strange to think that Future Foundation on whom the fate of the world relies are technologically inferior to a single company. Uh, no? <laughs> uh, no? That, that's not how that works at all! <laughs> Yo, Coco and Fufu. Heard you went outside. Well, I figured you would. It's a good way to make people hate the Future Foundation. It makes me wonder if the Toa group was in on it. How should I put it? There's something different about you two. Because the real question is, people. who profited the most from the despair? It wasn't Future Foundation. What do you mean? How can I say it? The air around you, it's different. You two are always facing forward. But in here, the air is getting heavier and heavier. Everyone's stressed. Stuck in a dark and moldy place like this? How could you not be? Anyway... You went outside. Can you tell me about it? Did you get some kind of clue about people with wristbands? I did. I've got a couple. Um... What's going on? Enough diddy-dallying. Hurry up and show her. 
You always say normal this and normal that, but now you're freezing up? So cruel. What do you mean? Hm. Nothing. I was just saying something normal to use your favorite word. Hey, hey. Uh, what's up with you two? Hey, hey. Am I not allowed to give her the things? Hey, hey. Okay, maybe I have to come back and talk to her after I've gone into the meeting. I don't know why I wouldn't give her the meeting, the, the, the hit list, because of what Toku said. That makes no sense. But anyway. It doesn't matter if they're just kids. We have to kill them before they kill us. But the kids have those Monokumas on their side. We have to do something about them first. What do you mean by that? It's like I said, we have to take them out somehow. I'm at my wit's end here. If I stay underground another minute, I'm going to lose it. I'm telling you, without a plan, a fight How right is now Tiff is today? Far too risky. Haiji, as leader, what do you think? I have everyone's lives in my hands. There's no way I'd put you all in danger. I'm completely against a suicide attack. Even for those who are prepared to die. So you want us to just stay here? Yeah. <laughs> You're telling us to spend our lives in this shitty place, constantly afraid of those kids? My principle is to not waste lives. As a Tip leader, I cannot accept a plan that defies that. B but... I'm not telling you to stay here forever. I'm just saying now is not the right time. Does anyone else have any ideas? Haiji, is it all right if these girls join the conference after you guys take a break? H Hello. I need to have this baby so I can see how you want to again. Yeah, that was my sister's big problem. Both times she was pregnant was like, you just can't get comfortable anymore. You two. Why are you two here? I already told you, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, now. It's not the time to argue. You guys have to get along, especially at a time like this. Regardless, this conference is over. No, not yet. It's not like you considered all the options yet, right? Remember the idea I brought up before? Did you consider that? I already told you. It's impossible. I understand how you feel, but... Hey, what exactly are you guys talking about? It's... about persuading the children. Persuade? That's your idea? It's obviously a little late for that, don't you think? But you guys are all humans. You can come to an agreement with words instead of violence. You really think a group of monsters like those kids can be reasoned with? I bet they'd kill us the moment we showed up to treat with them. Plus this group here? There can't be peace with those kids. You know what they've done. But, but still, why don't you at least try? It's like Shirakuma said, we're all humans. Did you already forget who we're dealing with? Remember what that P.E. Punk showed us? Just because they gave birth to us and raised us, they thought they could control us all. As hero, I hunted them down and let everyone go free. <gasps> Those brats don't even care about family. Things like persuasion? It will never work. That's right. They're not human, they're demons. And not just that, even if we tried to use family to persuade them, it's not possible. The survivors here don't have any children anyway. Huh? W wait you mean everyone here doesn't have any kids? But there's so many adults here. It's probably not a coincidence. Those kids are focusing on parents first. W why Who knows? They have a deep-seated hatred of the ones who raised them. It's messed up. It's maybe ask why to a group like that. I'm completely against the idea. I, I, I... 
I worry they're not going to delve into just what they just said, right? Like, the fact that because the kids are killing them, they find them demons. And th th there's that point that, that that's, the, that's the whole reason why they think adults are, here, are, are, are demons because of what they went through. I don't trust the Romper team to actually ever have a character bring up that. I don't trust it. You know, Kamaru is good at bringing up conflicts like that from time to time. But she looks like she's taken a back step because Toku is stopping her. And I don't know why she's letting Toku talk shit. And I don't know why Toku's talking shit. Because Toku is the last person to usually have an opinion on any of this. So I very much worry that this is going to go nowhere. The baby literally has a preference. I can't sleep on my back or right side or push and kick to snuggle back into my left. <laughs> it sounds like important information. Impossible? Apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. Who cares why these kids kids hate adults? Didn't I already say it? The best plan is to just wait for a while for a good opportunity. And exactly how long is this for a while? I don't know. But now's the time to toughen up and endure it. You say wait and endure. You're just repeating the fact you're not going to do anything. Toku, you're not doing anything. You did nothing in the first game either. You're an outsider. How could you possibly understand? I am the leader of this resistance. I have to think about the lives of everyone here. What resistance? A useless leader like you? You're even more of a burden than this chick. Oh, she's getting on my nerves. She's really, really getting on what my nerves. I really hate her. Hey, you too. I really could have done without her in this game. Just say whatever you want. You're no different than those kids. You're the one who's a child. Complaining, not even doing anything. If you don't like the way I lead, then you can leave. No one is going to stop you. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm leaving. But I know you're wrong. Let's go, Omaru. You're the one who's wrong, Toko. Huh? What are you saying? You... don't understand. You don't understand the feelings of the weak at all. I... I'm not blaming them for being weak. I'm blaming them for using it as an excuse. That's exactly my point. The reason they don't do anything is because they can't build confidence. I would know. You're someone strong. With talent. Chosen for Hope's Peak Academy and Future Foundation. You don't know how people like me feel. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> I don't understand what it's like to be weak. You think I'm chosen? You must be kidding. What's so great about me, huh? I'm a walking inferiority complex. I don't have confidence. I never have. But what's going to change if I just keep saying that? Using that as an excuse every day? Got time for it. Yeah, but it, it's a point, right? Like, she is chosen by society to be better than everyone. And she is in this giant organization that she, she stopped from coming to save everyone because she wants to get into the pants of Bayakua. We had an out. Future Foundation could have come and saved us. She didn't want that. She's talking a big talk right here. She's done nothing in this game to talk that talk. In fact, the only time I get saved is by Genocide Jill. And she's a serial killer, so she's just as bad as the children we're talking about. You know, like, she has no leg to stand on, and she's meant to be the, the moral compass of the game. And she's meant to be, like, Makoto's, you know, sounding board for the Future Foundation. She was completely and utterly the wrong character for this. It's completely against her character to be like this. Everything she's saying is absolute bullshit. They should have had someone else. They could have brought in Ahina or someone like that to do this. And it would have worked so much better than having Toko talk shit. And not like having people talk shit back at her when they're telling the truth. I, I learned that from the killing. I suffered for it, but I did something about she it. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't do anything in the first game. So for you to say that I was just chosen, like I had nothing to do with it, I won't allow it. 
Core strong, or she doesn't really have any useful skills. Yes, but fictional. She's been going on and on at Kamoru that she needs to do something when Kamoru doesn't even have a skill. She's put all this pressure on Kamoru the entire fucking game to stand up and be a hero. You know, she's not taking up the fucking gun to shoot things. She's not doing fuck all. She can sit there and she can preach at everyone, but she's not following what she preaches. And then when someone's like, I'm weak, I don't want to fight, she's like, well, you're a weakling then. You're, ju you're just scared of things. She's not full anything yet. She's done nothing. You can't have a character who always hides behind the main character, then stand in front of her and go, I'm better than you. You should be doing what I say. Why are you all so weak? Well, why don't you show by fucking example for once? Because she hasn't in this game at all. All she's done is basically pass out from fright half the fucking time. And as you say, duck out of the way every time I raise my fucking gun. You know, you can't have a character sit there on the moral high ground of people should stand up for themselves when she's not done that through the whole game. I'm like 10 hours into this game and she's done nothing. She has done nothing other than being antagonistic to everyone she fucking meets. And then when a fight does happen, she hides. Please, yes, that's please. because I don't use her in a fight, but I don't have to use her in a fight. Ten hours? Pretty much. Emergency! Monokumas are attacking us! Huh? If Hina was here, Hina would be fighting. You know, Hina would be doing something. She's also not the strongest, she's just a fucking swimmer. But she has the personality to do something. Toku doesn't. So having her say the words of someone like Hina is just infuriating. And it's infuriating no one ever really stands up to her after the fact. The only reason they put her in this game is because she has a serial killer personality. That's literally the only reason she's here. Because they can make the serial killer do the fighting. What? Why are there Monokumas here? Why wouldn't there be Monokumas here, dude? Find out about this place. That's not important right now. Just run. Maybe we should run too. Oh, what happened to being strong and fighting for your freedom? Huh? Uh, this is what I mean. What the hell happened to you have to make a stand, right? The second something happens, she runs away. Point made within seconds in the actual story itself. Please protect everyone. P protect? If this keeps up. Everyone will be killed. If you can at least buy us some time. I beg you. Please. We need you. Now's not the time to argue. If we don't fight, our lives are in danger God too. fucking damn. I absolutely, I hate this game so much. This is the worst game. This is the worst game. Fine. This game is making me so fucking angry. Please save everyone. Everyone's going to be killed. How did the Monokumas get here? Wait a minute, I'm on the wrong gun. Now's not the time to worry about that. Stop! I don't want to die! I'm being attacked. Oh my god, will you fucking just shoot him? <gasps> Things don't take so much! Oh god, good. By that, fuck off. Uh, 
Oh, you're probably gonna get hit by that. I don't fucking care. Oh, I missed that. Until I see my parents in Makoto, I can't die yet. Where is this other apparent monokumas? I don't know what's going on. I don't really fucking care either. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Do your best. Well, I got half these people killed, so, you know, I did my best. Thank you for saving everyone. I didn't save everyone. People are dead. Now I can see the BS. It's... I stick up for Danganronpa quite often through the bad storytelling because I believe the bigger picture is always the more important thing of the Danganronpa games, but there's no excuse with this game. It, it doesn't even have anything to do with the main actual story. It never really slots into the lore at all. And it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I don't like it. This is your fault. Huh? This whole time I've been so careful keeping this place a secret. I convinced people to stay underground. Stay hidden so they couldn't be followed. But after all that, this happens. The only explanation is that they followed you! You brought them here! Good, kick us out. We did? When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you. And you brought them right back here! It's all your fault! You did this to all of us! But that's not fair! I... I didn't want this to happen! Oh, wait! These two protected us, didn't they? If they never came back after their stupid mission, this place wouldn't have been ambushed. Th that's a baseless accusation! You're just making an assumption! Well, as long as I'm assuming... I guess I'll go one further and say you guys are spies for the kids. That's not funny. She what probably you is. Possibly gain from that. I remember an old folk tale about a war between birds and beasts. By using the face of both bird and beast, the bat played both sides. But because he couldn't get too close to either, in the end, the bat ends up alone. What are you trying to say? Bird or beast? I wonder which side you're on. Toko's definitely not on the right side. The woman literally will kill anyone that gets in the way of her boyfriend. Who doesn't even fuck her? Why now? What is that? What, you're asking me? Don't act like you don't know. Hey, what are you having? Get off me! Please, let go of me! Damn it! They take away my stun gun, then they stuff me into this dusty room. It's all her fault. I hope she chokes on a fish she caught herself. <laughs> Fucking power. Oh, I guess I don't want her to actually die. Ugh. I gotta focus on Master Biakia now, not that stupid idiot. I can't just stay trapped in a place like this. I gotta hurry and save me. I, I gotta save. Th th that was close. I was about to sneeze there. Ugh, I can't take this dust anymore. I gotta find Omaru and... Ugh, seriously, why am I thinking about her at a time like this? So irritating. I hate Toku so much. When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here. It's all your fault. You did this to all of us. It's all my fault. 
Everyone got hurt because of me. He's right. If I didn't insist on coming back here... Kamaru's a good character, though. I wish Kamaru was just on her own. She'd be a really interesting character on her own. I could have protected them. I couldn't do it because I'm weak. It's just like Togo said. I'm so weak. I kept saying, I can't do anything. Always relying on others. I never even thought about saving others. And now this happens. Because this is just wrong. She's literally tried to save everyone she's come across. Like, literally everyone. It's just, the story makes no sense and it's hurting my head. Like, Kamaru's such a lovely character. She's anyway in combat. Hello, Shikua. What is it? Shirokoma? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, wait. known as Lil Ultimate Drama. Well, not like it matters at all. Open Sesame! Look at a gun! Woohoo! Sorry for the intrusion. Thank you very much. Phew! I reached way back for that reference. I had to deal with baby boomers all the time, so my gags are kind of dated. And speaking of old... Oh! I can't think of any follow-up. I must be nervous. <sighs> My heart is racing faster than 16 shots a second. Master Takahashi would be proud. Um... Yeah, yeah, I already know what you want to say. You were going to tell me a fighter should be a boy. And speaking of boys, I've heard some people say that slugs don't have a gender. But actually, slugs have both male and female bodies at once. People who go around spreading half-assed lies about slugs deserve swift punishment. Fighter kick! Fighter punch! Chaka! Hacha! Why? Why did that have to be a scene? Why did that have to be something we had to see? You know, anything else, I'd say it was a funny gag or like a little haha, -ha, but this is Dag and Romper, and they do that so often. Why? Just why? That's what I told them that I didn't want to be fighter because I'm not good at PE. I mean, I am really good at physical education, though. How about you? You good at health and physical education? Is that... Is that even a subject you can be good at? There are no girls who dislike health and physical education. That's my theory, anyway. Stare... What? Truth is, I'm actually here to hunt you down. But... I changed my mind. I'll let you escape. What? It's not like my feelings about demons have changed any. I still hate them deeply. I still want to kill them all in the most painful, cruel way possible. Like, for example, drowning them in a septic tank or putting a razor under their fingernail. But that's understandable. I hate them with full power. Was my bot late? My break? So is my break coming up? I'm pretty sure my break was just over. How my bot got so fucking late? I don't know. Anywho, despite my hatred, the reason I let you escape was because you are super adorbs. Hmm. Huh? I love adorable things! I collect everything adorbs, from faucets to toilet seats! So, I'm gonna let an adorable girl like you go! Oh, I just skipped there it. Is one catch. You're the only one allowed to leave. Four items oh, it's because I reset my bot, right? Yeah, the ads are gonna be off. What? But shh! Keep it a secret, especially from the sage Nagisa. He's super strict with rules. Nagisa says I can't even drink soda during meals. It's not my fault the food is so tasteless. I mean, he could at least let me have a little. Tells me to drink milk, even if I'm eating cereal. It's like drinking curry soup with your curry. Uh... Um... Anyway, let's go. Go on, get out before those chumps notice. But... But I can't be... 
be the only one to go. I can't just abandon all the people here. Oh, something wrong? Is your red flower blooming? <laughs> or maybe you just like, like, me. like you're a murder mystery enthusiast? I can't just leave Togo behind. Well, I can understand a little hesitation. Why don't you just leave the cell for now? Come on, just step on out. Girls are more adorable if they're a teensy bit selfish. It's gonna be a lot of dead bodies out here, I guess. And now, hiya! <laughs> this is a denture launcher. So how about it? Pretty sweet machine, right? The smooth shaft, the fresh pink color, the brutal yet hypnotizing shine. <laughs> it's so adorbs, I just can't stand it. Ah, by the way, my dad was a dentist. And of course also, he was. Papa was always cheating with his dental assistant. Of course he was. But I guess he had an inferiority complex because he always role played as a brain surgeon. Of course he did. Yes, a great daddy indeed. Neglecting his business and making me your money instead. A perfect papa who I could kill over and over and over and it still wouldn't have been enough. What is this? I can't move. Ooh, your sleepy face is super adorbs. I bet your face is cute even halfway through swimming a stroke. Uh, however... Being adorbs isn't always a good thing. Cute girls go through terrible things. And if you're adorable too, you have to protect yourself on your own. If you can't, you have to take whatever they give you. It's a shitty rule, but I didn't make it. Adults did. So be prepared for that life. Toko. <laughs> Was someone just... Talking about me? Uh, uh. <laughs> Master Biakia must have been talking about me. I wonder what he's doing while he's calling my name. Jeez, Master is such a perv. Are we gonna have to play as Toko? I don't want to play as Toko, guys. Genocide joke does make me laugh. Her scent's still here. Did she perhaps run away on her own? Is that like a GPS for Dekomaru's wristband? I see. This'll be good for tailing her. Anyway, you want me to chase after her, don't you? But why are you giving this splendid gift to an enemy like me? Is it perhaps that the other me has some annoying plan hidden up her sleeve? Huh? Well, doesn't matter. Our goal is probably the same anyway. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's bad and you should feel bad. I mean, I already feel bad, Candle. This game makes me feel bad that I'm torturing you all of it. I want to know what her thigh says. Fictional, she's still a child. How dare. Oh, I'm tied up. Now then, let's begin with the motivation. P please, no, please stop. No, not going to happen. Switch on. Come on, come on, come on! Let me hear that adorable voice! 
Sorry to disturb you, you're um, busy. It's time for a tutorial. You can fight away the tentacles. They're not tentacles. Why, why is my thing called obedience? Why is this a thing? <sighs> Use the right sticks to switch the display. Then in Kamaru get groped. In Increases the heart meter. You know what ha what that represents, right? If it feels all the way, it's game over. So enjoy yourself, but you know, keep that in mind. Time to begin the motivation. P please, no, N no, no more. <laughs> Forgive me. N no. Come on, come on. P please, no. You like this, huh? You like it, don't you? Motivation, motivation, so much fun! N no! Oh, there was more down here. I didn't even realize there was three screens. Fuck. This is bad. This is very bad. My, my, you're persistent. But we're just getting started. You're going to be slowly but surely motivated. <sighs> Please, enough already. Ooh, you're so sexy. I'm changing the channel. I don't blame you, Candle. I heard women are the best just before they're ripe, but this is beyond my expectations. But when they rot, they become demons. I have to figure out the perfect timing. Stop it! Why are you doing this? That's what I always asked. I asked them many, many times. The answer was always, because I'm cute! Oh, well, my, my model broke. It, it's so disgusted, my model broke. I'm not a bad girl. This is just payback for what happened to me. If you think this is wrong, then what the adults did to me is wrong too, right? And if that's the way it is... There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh, put that lewd body of yours to work, and you'll never go hungry. By the way, this is the opposite of child porn, so it's a-okay to put in a video game. No problem! Kamara was literally still a child. This is not the opposite of anything. She is still literally a child. She never even made it to high school. This is... I, I need a screen cap of this so I can complain about this later. <laughs> Just... What? Is, it a... <laughs> Is it wrong for a kid to be doing this? But it's wrong for adults to be doing this too, right? Both are no good. If you're slapped on the right cheek, slap them on the left, as they say. No! No! Hey, Yaru! Yeah, yeah, yeah! 
Yeah. This. I don't think I have any words left, guys. I, I don't think I genuinely have any words left. There's not a child, so it's okay. I think point they were making was because it was being done by a child therefore it couldn't but it doesn't make sense because that's not what porn means that's not that's not what any of that means those words don't make sense maybe they like people can hand wave it away as well as a child saying it like every bad game choice in this is because well the kids designed these games but it, it genuinely just is it is a man who does not know anything about anything that has this weird obsession with female characters being abused and, and likes to shove that in your face every single game he makes. And I don't get it. I don't understand it. <laughs> Fellow trauma bonders. I remember the buttons for Poco because I never used her. <laughs> when you're playing your game, this is not child porn. You're most probably making child porn. Yep. <laughs> yep. Almost to the front. All right. Full blast. <laughs> T Togo? Oh, my. Oh my god, why? And girls who aren't adorable deserve even harsher punishment. Hey, I ain't ugly. I'm just way below average. That's a cool. That's a cool line, though. I'll You're give her so that. Gross. Sticking out your tongue like that. Not a dwarf's at all. Well, no shit. I got it. I'm not the adorbs type. Oh my god. Yeah, now I'm gonna be so highly of yourself. You're the type of girl. Oh my god! 
This fucking game! Oh, we're not meant to be hitting her, apparently. What are we meant to be doing? Oh my god! Stop! Fucking stop! Jesus Christ! I don't know what I'm meant to do! What am I literally meant to be doing? It didn't say. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and this is annoying. It's a small area you're in there trying to avoid a constant fucking barrage of fucking missiles. What am I meant to do? Yes, please tell me because this is making me angry. Oh, I was just meant to be hitting her. But she she had no stun lock, so she was getting hit and still loading her gun and shooting at me. Fantastic. This, this is a very well made, very well made game. A child, a literal child, is being sliced to death by. She's we're, we're ripping her clothes off. Yes, a, a child who's being traumatized by by. Sexual abuse. We, we are undressing her. She's being sliced to death by by knights and still able to hit me with her gun. This, this, this. The only character, the only child character as well that we physically attack. This is really too much. Thanks, are we? Then again, you were never loaded in the first place. <laughs> How vulgar! Hey, don't make that face, or else you'll end up in a far more vulgar situation. Whoa there. You better stay put. If you don't, my hand might slip. And then I go a snip, snip, snip! Jeez. Now don't go getting captured by some little runt. I thought you wouldn't come. I mean, right after we had that fight. Fight? What the hell are you talking about? I just want to save Master Byaku. Boku, <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> she also completely invalidated her. Yep. I don't get... What's the I'm really 18 comment meant to make any of this better when she's obviously not 18? <laughs> What's this unexpected girl-on-girl -girl development? Whoa there, lady! I ain't got that kind of taste! Get off me! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to leave you. I tried to run away. No, we didn't. For the English version to make it less atrocious. It made it worse, though, because Kamaru is not of legal age. So if she's over 18, then it was literal child porn, because she was groping a child. I mean, it was literal child porn anyway, but the point is, Kamaru is an actual child. She's not 18. So that just made it even worse. And I said such horrible things, like, that you don't have any friends. I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hated this chapter for so- Yep. <laughs> I'm truly sorry, Toko. 
I can see why Dag and Romper fans don't tell people to play this game. No right to accept that apology. Huh? You seriously are stupid. Why the hell are you trusting a serial killer? What? What happened? Nothing. Nothing at all. Satisfaction. Oh. What, what, what is going on here? Um. Let's just go for now. It would be a hassle to explain. To be fair, I, I, I fully understand why Kamaru might be a bit flustered at this present second. You know? She has literally just been sexually abused by a child slash maybe 18 year old. I I would too be very flustered. Y yeah, okay. I don't really get it, but I definitely don't want to be down here anymore. Are we come down? I thought we were up. More like, come Arunayagi. <laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't even clever. How? Wait, that doesn't make sense. How does she know what happened? That doesn't make sense. Why is she making a joke like that? She shouldn't know what just happened. Let me through. Let me through. I got a sparkly down here. Let me fucking through. Memoirs of Kotoko Utsugi. Lame. So lame. Why are all the bodies of demons not adorbs at all? Like, the bodies are bigger for no reason. They're not even filled with adorbs things inside. It's like an egg. There's nothing inside. Empty Dumpty. I should kill them all just for that. Speaking of eggs, there are two ways to write egg in Japanese. But you can use the words in different ways. The first egg means shelter from, from where life is born. The other egg means a cooking ingredient. Woohoo. Isn't trivia just so adorbs? Maybe... As soon as you've come in at the perfect time, you've come in after all the really ugly stuff. Everything that just happened would actually give you another heart attack. Thanks to you, I did manage to get myself a new outfit, but you wrecked the moving fighter castle. I feel furiously angry. You have seriously made me mad. Your face doesn't really match up with what you're saying. This is acting, after all. Inside my heart, I can't help but feel unlucky. Speaking of unlucky, you really should have let me motivate you a little more. You could have felt so good. Your mind would have been blown. You'd become so twisted. I don't want that to happen. Oh? You're going to abandon the responsibility of being a dwarfs? That's not fair! Being a dorps means being an object of jealousy, being called ugly bitch, or told to die. If that doesn't happen, being a dorps just isn't worth it. I think what you're describing is called undue resentment. And another thing, Omaru is not as cute as you say she is. She's like slightly above. Good, average. I'd rather not. I, I. I want to play this game. Because I want to do all of the Romper stuff. But this, this game has seriously tested me. I can get away from the bad gameplay because they don't make shooter games. I can get away from that. I can get away from some of the more stupid things. I can even get past the bad boss fights. I am not getting past chapter three. I, I am going to complain about that chapter. I am going to, I'm, I'm just... That was disgusting. It was unneeded. It was horrific. This game shouldn't be on sale on Steam, in my opinion. It's it's bad. I'll take that. Undo resentment. No, no, no. This is in a way, I'm happy you saw me go through it, Fig, because I would have hated you having to play that blind yourself. If I had got to here before you anyway, I would have just gone and literally told you the entire chapter. I wouldn't have even been like, do you want spoilers? I would have been like, fictional, I need to tell you this. All I wanted was to be the same as everyone else. A normal kid... I was warned by Warted, to be fair. I was also warned by Warted. So I knew something like this was coming. She used me to get her I did not know it was going to get that bad. With me. Well, the guys who wanted that are to blame too. I don't... 
I want to add all of these mods to my this uh, my YouTube so that like all of my playthrough is on there. But I don't even want to upload this to YouTube. I might just like fucking cut all of that out. I don't know. Like I just, this is horrible. Business with a mother and daughter set? How perverted can adults be? Oh, my mistake. I meant demons, not adults. Seriously, I'm so ashamed of myself for actually listening to what those ugly demons used to say. But everything's changed now. As someone who knows what makes adults happy, I also know the things they don't want. Using what I've learned, I can take down the demons and make them suffer as much as I did. No, 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 no. I, I'm fine. I know fictional might react worse than I did to this. I, you, you gave me the perfect one because I, when you gave me the names, I knew kind of where we were going. And I, I, I guess that the one good thing about streaming it is people got to see my absolute disgust of it live. <laughs> so like, I, I didn't downplay it because I didn't know the full detail. I, I could be completely disgusted in the time, right? And the way she shot, like, we do not need the upskirt shot of an actual child. Not all adults are like that. There are good people. I think the most, like, it might be the weirdest thing, but the most disgusting part of that all was, hey, I'm actually 18, lols. Because, like, it was such a weirdly unneeded addition to the dialogue. And it's not true. But if it was true, it makes everything worse. It's just, it was... <laughs> everything about this was so unneeded. It was so unneeded. But you know what this would have been good for? The kid with the mask. We could have had Toko shred up his mask. That kid was literally built for this whole chapter. You know, people would want to see why his parents put him in a mask. And we'd want to see him have his mask taken off. And maybe then have him switch sides and sure we can make them better. But no, we, we've we've gone for this girl was sexually abused by her parents to make her famous. You know, the, a, a proper like Britney Spears like situation here, but with actual pedophilia. And then she turned into the pedophile, but it's OK because she's not a kid until the right is decide that she isn't a kid anymore, which then made it worse, but made it OK, but made it worse. You know? Then why didn't anyone save me? If the world is so good, why didn't anyone help me escape? Well, doesn't matter. What I said just now, that wasn't how I really feel. That was acting. Just leave it to the former child acting genius. And a perfect performance is easy as cake. Hmm. We're in water, by the way, so we're going to have to stun this I've boss. Been by Big Sis Junko anyway. That name again? I'm sick of hearing that name. We're gonna have to stand on that side and shoot oh? into the water. Does Miss Ugly Glasses over there happen to know Big Sis Junko? Inappropriate content. That that's. But for for an example, Asuna, like without going into too much detail, this kid had the main character tied up to like a board. And was using a device to grope me. And I had to somehow hit the hands away. Because I don't actually know how I was attacking the hands when I was tied up. But we had to move the hands away. I thought there was only two screens. But no. There were ones groping at her downside, downstairs bits as well. And then there was the infin now infamous line of... This isn't child porn, by the way. Lol. Well, they, they didn't say lol, but I'm adding the lol because that was the point. The main character only just got into high school this year. With a younger female character, yep. No her just about killed her. Miss it took who did kill her. Glasses? You guys have no idea. You don't know how horrifying that woman really is. You were fooled. I don't know how she convinced you that she was some sweet, gentle girl, but... You're just very grossed out hearing about it. Yep, we had to live through it. And then after all that, bearing in mind this game has done really well in making sure you don't 
violently attack any of the children. Like, in-game, you're not allowed to attack any of these kids in the background with the Monokuma masks. And every boss fight has been in one of these arenas, and you, the boss is actually a mech. This girl who was sexually abused, this little girl that was sexually abused, is the only character we attack because we cut all her clothes off. The, the character that was sexually abused, the only one we actually attack, and that's to rip her clothes off. And we're constantly getting upskirt shots of her as well. When they're gentle, I, I get all flinchy. No, I don't want gentle. I don't. Please stop. Anything but gentle. Please, no, stop with the gentle. What happened to her? This doesn't look like acting. I'm going to say, never play this game. As a, as a fan of this series, this game isn't even worth playing anyway. like this right the other two boys had these moments as well but there was just so much emphasis put on her trauma and it didn't need to be there where the oh my god no even the bot's gonna be bad i understand why it took me so long to get through it it puts me off wanting to play V3 after this. I might stream tomorrow. I've seen that Lyle's not streaming tomorrow. I might stream this tomorrow and try to, like, just load the beginning of this week full of Dag and Romper and get it out of the way. And then at the end of this week, just play a shit ton of fucking Final Fantasy to cleanse myself. Oh, I've got to shoot the Monokuma, okay. Probably not do that until I'm in front of it. I don't need more bright. Oh, I hate this camera! And it paralyzed armor is full. Armor was full. Come on. Come on. Against the rules. To know that rule. You guys came up with them. You sure have gotten mouthy. Oh god. Mega Typhoon. Even without a magic circle, spinny spinny. Oh my god! Fuck you, game. Everything. I hate this game so much. It's a shit game. Even without a magic circle, You want to be gentle with me? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. How do I? 
Did that not hit it? Why were they not fucking... Oh. Oh, my life. Hey, that's what I need to do. Pixel bean girl just Welcome in! How is everyone? Welcome in, Tindley. I am also a raid of some beans. It really confused me why I had a border then. <clears throat> I, I need to put a very big... I think all the bad stuff is behind us. But I do have to put a little bit of a of a warning. This chapter has been gross, and not in the Dagon Romper doing deep, meaningful, horrible things. But this this has been genuinely gross. But this character is about to be taken away. I don't think they're actually dying. I think the kids are just taking them away and reprogramming them. That's my think I thought on this. But she is about to be taken away. Um. But yeah, ju just a quick warning. A quick warning that this character is a little bit on the gross side. The it's not even really the character, right? It's just the writing is gross. Uh, so, so that is a warning. Yo, welcome in, Aaron. Yes, it is a Dag and Romper and Gorillas model. Just heard about the gross stuff. Yes, we will not go on with the um. We will not go on with the with the explaining what is happening. Thank you for the follow as well, by the way. And I'm creeped out. This chapter has been absolutely awful. I have a trigger warning in the pin section. Um, if you don't know about Daganrompa, uh, Daganrompa does deal with a lot of very deep um, subject matters. I'm on the fence on how well they deal with them. Chapter 3 did not deal with it well. Chapter 3 has been gross and everyone is very grossed out right now and very, very upset. Uh, but she's about to go, and then we've only got two kids left. Uh, th this game does deal with little children with trauma, um, and a lot of death and murder and things like that. So, you have been warned. If you must leave because of that, I, I appreciate it, because this has been very, very, very... <laughs> it's been hard. It's been hard having to react to what's happening around us. It's, it's not a nice one. But welcome in. Bean, make sure to go and look after yourself as well. Go get some water, get some stretches in, look after yourself. But for everyone else, my name is Anakuma and I am a VTuber from the UK. I play a lot of games. We've used the word gross a lot because I don't want to say what it really is. Gross is like the most tame word I can use for what we've had to deal with today because it's just, it's disgusting and unneeded. And this chapter is just not good. You want to say, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I wish I was playing a better game than this for your, for your raiders, because this is not a chill game. But as I said, she she's th this is over now. This is over now. Ultra Despair Girls there yeah, is fucked up. It's really, really bad. Yeah. I've never played Ultra Despair Girls. So I've been warned about this chapter um by Warded, who got through it before me. Uh, but I had no idea what was coming, really. And and, and it was a shock. It was a lot to take in. I'm saying we're using it because it's an app description. <sighs> but also, I was lurking in your stream earlier, Bean. I know you've gone to lurk, but your cat girl picture is looking amazing. Is she a cat girl? She is a cat girl, right? Your Final Fantasy character is looking amazing. I like to think that kids are being dragged off to be saved, but they are just being dragged off. But I would never stream this game. 
Oh God, why? No, come on. Why? Why? You love your warrior of light. She's very cute. Talk. Where is Master Biakia? What are you doing to that child? Who's this? Immature of you. Oh, it's Nagisa. Okay. Mm, I guess it is rather demonic in a way. Ganging up. Who's like, who this? It's not Nagito. Skill all you adults have. Nagisa. What? Abuse. You guys are the ones who started all Where's this. Where's Nikito? I need a hug from Nikito. All we want is a peaceful paradise where children can live without fear. Don't make me laugh. You've been using those monokumas this whole time to murder adults. She's right. If all you wanted was a peaceful paradise, you shouldn't have done it like this. There is no other choice. We must kill them. If we allow them to live, our paradise will be undone. And if that happens, we will be forced to endure our pain once more. Nothing will change. But I've been saying, like, Nagito is one of my favorite Danganronpa characters in general. I find him very interesting as a character. Like, I've I've watched the anime. I've played all the games. This is the only game I hadn't played. So I was very, like, the fact that no one had ever managed to spoil that Nagito was in this for me was amazing. But... I love Nagito's outfit in this so much. I think my version 2, um... Have you played Goodbye Despair? I have. And Goodbye Despair was recently replayed just before this, yeah. I my, my next model, I'm definitely gonna go for an outfit that looks like Nagito's in this. He does look very cool in this game, he we does. He looks amazing. Until we have wiped out every single one of them. So we have to kill the demons. To protect our I was world. always put off this game, not by the content. Like, no one ever told me the content. People just told me I wouldn't like it because it was a shooty game and it wasn't a very well done shooty game. And I was like, oh, if it's going to have, like, bullets and ammo and stuff, I'm going to run out and it's going to get... Like, that's that's my problem with survival horror. I love survival horror, but I'm not good at hoarding my ammo and stuff. So I was like, oh, m maybe not, m maybe not. So I never played the game. But Dagon Romper is a series I love. Like, it's my favorite series. Other than, like, Broken Sword and Curse of Monkey Island. Or Curse of Monkey Island, just Monkey Island. Game. Have you lost your mind, kid? Yeah, you're probably right. We've all gone mad. Masaru, Jotaro, Kotoko, Monica. We're probably all insane. Broken. But whose fault is that? The adults are the ones who broke us. Nagisa. You want to hear the truth? We're scared. We're all terrified of the adults. See, this kid I like. I like this kid a lot. And as I said, if chapter three had been about the abuse Jitaro had gone through, and like the whole point was to rip his mask off, that would have been an interesting thing. And this, like I said before this happened, if Jitaro was there and like we didn't have him dragged away and he was able to like sit and talk to us right like if, if that was the thing that happened that would be interesting because like his abuse was something that was very easy to like try to reverse in a way right just ever <sighs> uh. gundam's your favorite my favorite overall is hero hero is my favorite character i love hero hero is my, my everything from 2, it would be Nagito, though. I really like Nagito. Soda was my original favorite because he was just funny. But I think, like, the more I play the game and the more I get to, like, into the lore of Romper, Nagito was just, like, one of my ultra-favorite characters. But, like, everything, he, he, he he's just, like, hardwired to believe in stuff. I really like him. Though, I've always said, and I said it constantly when I played 2, Two is my absolute favorite game. Goodbye Despair is by far the absolute best Dagon Romper game in my opinion. It has the best cast of characters. Not necessarily always the best, the the best twists in it, but the story holds up really, really well. And when you get and you watch like um, Dagon Romper Three, the anime, it really, really cements just how well done Two was. 
I really like one as well. I'm actually a big fan of V3 as well. Um, which we're going to go through after we've done Ultra Despair Girls before I get back onto Final Fantasy. Uh, but 2 was just so fantastic. 2, I just really love. Hearing their footsteps. Sensing their presence. And I like the fact in 2 as well, every time I replay 2, I feel, I feel a little different about every character, right? Like, every time I play it, I, I, I learn a little bit more. I don't necessarily feel that in one. And I'm not sure if I'm going to feel that way in three. I'm going to have to see. Or V3 even. But two, I always like... There's something new that I pick up on in two every single time. Like a tiny little subtle thing that I never noticed before. We can't help but feel scared. Completely terrified. As long as adults exist, we cannot rest. We cannot live in peace. At this point, the damage is irreversible. I figured that something like that was behind all of this. And I do pity you. But no matter how pitiful you are, how cool and pitiful. it doesn't mean that you can hurt I love to think that's a translation error, error because they're not really pitiful. <laughs> they're abused to children. Treat them how they treated you? That's just going to make everyone equally miserable. So you're saying we should just take it? You're saying we should abandon all hope? Hope? No, it's fine. Let's end this already. I want you to leave this town. You're gonna take my bracelet off? You want to run away, right? You want to escape the city, right? Then I will let you leave. Satisfied? I take my bracelet off? Nagisa, are you sure? It's my decision. As leader. But what about Monica? I'll persuade her. <laughs> Hold on. Are you seriously saying you're just going to let her go? Until you two arrived, our revolution was progressing smoothly. I don't want you to interfere any longer. So please, just get out of here. Stay away from us, please. Thank you, Warded. Everything is all thanks to my wonderful allies playing their part and doing their best. Looks like time's winding down. Just a little bit longer, and we'll have a brand new successor on our hands. <laughs> a second generation Junko and Ashima, huh? Well, things are getting pretty interesting around here. <laughs> I found all the hidden kids this time. Nice. As expected of the woman I entrusted with my life, it was not wrong of me to believe in you. I would love that. I would just love it if Bayakua isn't even tied up, right? Why the surprised expression? You idiot. You're the only one I trust. Don't you know that by now? I should probably look at my skills. Alright, we've done that. That's that's over. Smokes 29 cigarettes. Mm-hmm. The way we live. Uh, Warted, is there actually six um chapters in this? Or is you. there more? Please, just leave this city. Where did this come from? We'll escape from the city. Do, 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 oh, do, do. I knew this would happen. 
Sorry, I need to take a screenshot a shot of my boy. <laughs> Just the new model preferences, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a face with this written on it. Oh, there's only five. Nice, okay. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. Toko's supposed to be... Toko and Bayaku are the same age, yeah. So please, get out of our town. But, but, uh... Oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No, this is not an offer. It's an honest request. Please, I'm begging you. Please leave. H hey, I you're gonna drown if you do that. Kid, even if he's kneeling on the ground, he's obviously tricking us. I do not intend to trick you. I'm serious. And now, you are free. And now you are free. But Nagisa, if you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad. I know that, but it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. I can guarantee your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's... Hey, hey! I told you to wait! What? Do you have another objection? D do I? Um... Oh, oh, Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? Of course she is. This is what she wanted all this time. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Omaru. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Toku doesn't respect anything if it doesn't mean she gives Bayaku a back. Her feelings? Sh shut up! You have no right to say that. It's going to be all what? right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. I don't no understand! I don't understand! Let's go. Why doesn't he have a chance? He's at least saying my name, right? Alright, we, we are gonna go on my break in the middle of this. Um, mainly because I really need to pee and I need to refill my water. It's very hot and I keep drinking running out of water. So I'm gonna take my three minute break. Um, I will be back as soon as I've finished uh, going to the toilet and filling up my drink. So everybody make sure to get up and stretch. Especially if you've been here throughout set chapter three, you might need it. Take a bit of a break. My bot is going to go off just after the ads as well to tell you this, <laughs> there's been ads. But yeah, I'm going to go on my break. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy some clips. Sorry. They, when, they, when they try to say yes, but they really just say ears. Ears! <laughs> what? That, that was the wildest take I've ever it's in red and blue, I mean. No, it's red and yellow, oh, isn't it? Oh, you need blue, but you need yellow as well for the orange, obviously. Suriano boy doesn't have a voice, he does. He sounds like this. That's how a well for. What is that Narnia ass language? Excuse me? I think you'll find that your language, Mr. Closet Boy? Guys, 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 I think Flair is one of us. I think Flair is one of us. I need to get everyone in a voice chat to read that line for me. We we got Brexit so that we could pog us in our passports. If I can't have a pog in my passport, 
What's the, what's the even the point of having a passport? Shut the fuck up, Elmo. I've had enough of you. You are an asshole, Elmo. I'm gonna write a horror story about someone that eats so many bananas they become radiated and they become a, just, a, just a living banana, guys. The radio banana, active banana man with all the bananas in it, you know? Just like. Work cool. Well. Like, like, if you see them pop out of a vent, can you just shout that you've seen them pop out of a vent? It was so scary! She just fucking showed up! Okay, I am back. My question is, did, did Candles Clip ever come up? Are we, are we living in a world where Candles... Uh, candles... Toilet behaviour comes up as a clip now? Let me just turn that off. Thank you, thank you. I am back. Don't follow us. But, but... You don't want Monica to hate you, do you? You don't think so, but you did go peeing. Damn. If there's only five chapters, I shouldn't need to do an extra, um... Let's go. The secret passage no can vlog today. If there's only five chapters, I shouldn't need to do an extra stream tomorrow. I should be able to get through a this bit way. of this chapter today. Maybe the entirety of it, and then finish it. Um... How does a non-normal kid run? And then Thursday we can do some some Final Fantasy. That's gonna make nobody happy but dire. <laughs> well, I was on the other side. Right, let me go to the save then. About the children at night, there's only one thing I could tell for sure after taking the night shift as lookout. The children are all wearing those idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping, and I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Isn't it possible that they're just mechanical dolls like Monokumas? Well, regardless, whether they're humans or robots, they're devils in our eyes. The only difference is what liquid they bleed when we run, over, run them over. Huh? Nice. Am I gonna run kids over? Quack! Final Fantasy, that there will be some final finaling of the fantasy. I'll see, like wh when I finish this stream, I'll talk to Warded off stream and I I'll see how he feels about it. Like I won't ask him on stream, like I'll just give him a quick DM after stream. And then we might we might do an extra stream tomorrow and then just do two days of Final <laughs> Fantasy, you know? Thank you for the ban. Follow me closely. So weird that the save as those parties. I kind of find it funny though. Mainly because they let me quack. Boop, 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 boop. 
You're finding your fantasy right now is that's more smutty than intended. Don't worry, Final Fantasy is very smutty. Hold on. Why are you attacking me? I did I did teleport into someone's boobs and limbs yesterday. Took one step forward, looked back and went, nice pillows and ran off. <laughs> What's going on? Why is he getting ambushed by the Monokumas? Oh god, no. I'm moving. Stop it! Can I, can I hit them? No, okay. Oh, there's another one! Oh shit! <laughs> My bad, my bad. There, there was another one. In. I'm just letting every single one of you go over there. Yo, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I am concentrating, <laughs> but I, I appreciate the follow. Can you look at me? Don't look at me. My money! You said the Monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. This is... strange. What in the world is this? Hey, you weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. True. Then... They must have found out you betrayed them. Betrayal? Me? I like no, this kid. That's wrong. I'm no traitor. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. It appears your allies aren't taking it that way. I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such Yeah. Keep on saying that. Oh sorry, I just accidentally skipped. Schooler. All right, give me 2 seconds, guys. Just give me 2 seconds. Let's go. I shouldn't be leaving my coins like that. I shouldn't be leaving my coins. I'm getting sick of this. Is there any sparklies? No, any sparklies over here? Weast? We going weast? I do like a good weasting. The secret passageway is this one. <laughs> What's the kid? I need to check for so many sparklies. You don't understand. You don't understand the pain I'm going through. And when there's like big areas like this and no sparklies, I get very anxious about missing them. 
I hate today. Hey, at least today isn't Wednesday, right? Wednesday is the worst day. I'm a warrior of hope. I'm your master. Oh, oh god. You wanna run that jump down too? Who next? Oh shit. I had to notice them. go mm -hmm. they want us to go here what's down this is the way we came right uh what's down here though there's there's a a cow what is this where we come from this wasn't where we come from nothing here no there must be something here. Uh -huh. One sparkly. The conductor's 48 hours. A Doriku Anika, famous as the genius conductor, is regarded by the world as perfect, talented, extraordinary, and beautiful. However, she has a secret that she keeps from them all. The pinnacle of lyrical sexual prose, a fluttering melody of suffering and sadism. Oh, here we go. This novel seems pretty intense. Interested? Even with the s and bits, it's beneath me. It's probably just some sloppily written wish fulfillment fan fiction garbage. Oh, I'm sure it's not going that bad. No, it's definitely going to be that bad. I can feel the lack of talent from here. Any book with a title this bad has to be just as bad as on the inside. Well, if the ultimate writing prodigy says it, I'm sure it's true. A tasty subject like S&M boiled down to this crap. A true masochist like me would do better. How did this even get published? They must really be getting desperate to put this out. Which reminds hey, me. as a um, true masochist, have you ever had that kind of experience? What, like being tied up or suspended? Then there's no way I'd do such indecent things. But then how do you know you're a masochist if you've never done that stuff before? Isn't that like someone saying they love cigarettes but they've never smoked before? You underestimate my imagination. Every spare moment I'm being stepped on, tied up, suspended by my master, in my head. All in her head. You sound pretty proud about that. That reminds me, one time I was really tied up and suspended. Up by Bayakur? No. No, I don't even remember his name now. It was when I was in third grade. Someone's lunch money got stolen and it somehow ended up at my desk. My classmates thought I did it, so they tied me up on the on. There, up to the jungle gym with a garden hose. So cool. That's horrible. Right. At the time, I felt a tingling sensation, but I'm sure that's not related. 
No, that definitely sounds like a formative experience. God. Like self-insert fan fiction. To be fair, she she actually I believe she specializes in fan fiction, doesn't she? Or is that someone else? Oh no, that was uh, that was Hajime. Hajime was the um Hey, where are you going? The secret passageway. Well, obviously we're coming way. back this way. Was the fan pick right here? This kid is still gonna die with me. Hajime, not Hajime. Who is it? <laughs> this way. The guy from the first one, you know, the big fat guy. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. You. You think so? Name begins with a H. Yeah, remember him? Oh yeah, we've got a shortcut. Fat shaming? He deserves to be fat shamed. He's a piece of shit. Hifumi, that's it. Hifumi. I'm forever getting everyone's name from one and two mixed up. Oh my god, can I just fucking knock him back? the least objectionable pervert probably he really is isn't he like can you imagine going through dagon romper one for the first time and being like by the end of the series hippie probably best pervert <laughs> 10 out of 10 would allow to pervert again because at least he perverted over 2t 2d girls right no real life perversions B! How's it going, B? Oh, fuck. We're gonna have to do one of these. Hey, can we, can we go in here already? He's gonna tell hey, me no. Where are you going? Eh. Uh, so he says. Hmm. He has some redeeming features, yeah. Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. 
Let's see if time to come back here. So, so cruel. This is too cruel. I won't look. But even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons. Our enemies. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? Yeah, that's right. We can never get over the Tupperware with Tara Tara. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? We warriors of hope are classmates in the Hope Speak Elementary program. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers, but I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble, but that's not right. Our troubles were created by adults, by our parents. Hands them back, so I had to check the email name. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst. Like demons. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, they'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. Oh, God. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. That's horrible. I don't think you were meant to take it literally, as you can now see, that he thinks his parents were the worst. <laughs> You Americans take things very literal all the time. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like And I add fictional to that, because fictional is American as well. During it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents. So we didn't fight it. Instead, we bonded over our struggle, and those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents, scary adults, the whole scary see, world. See, this is, this is the thing, right? This is the thing. They had this whole chapter where we had flashbacks and all kinds of shit for the pink-haired girl. But Monica's not even getting to tell her own story. This guy told a story for us. The other characters seem like such an afterthought to put around the, the pink-haired girl and her trauma. It's so weird. And we thought there was only one way out. It's not like... Because the rest of the world don't talk in absolutes like America do. We say things that don't always necessarily mean it the way... You know, it sounds. But that's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage. To fight back instead of running away. That was Big Sis Junko. Junko. Junko saved Big the Sis world, Junko guys. Told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted Junko saved going everyone. Our lives. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us.
Is it abduction if you go with them willingly? I guess he hasn't said that they've gone willingly yet. But he's making it sound like they went willingly. Yes, I guess it is. They don't really have consent. Then again, can you blame them? Can you really abduct a child from an abusive family and feel bad about it? Other than Junko. So Junko is still better than their family because at least she freed them and let them kill people, you know? Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Look at them, they're all peacefully sleeping. Look at them. Look how cute they are. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not only love, but a dream as well. The dream of creating a children's paradise where the children can live peacefully. Having a nice little nap in it. Exactly. Also Big Sis Junko, the beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized. Wouldn't she have technically been a demon herself at that point? Because when all this happened, she would be either Kimura's age or just a little older than her. The common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. I'm not gonna lie, that is true though. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. As far as I remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to. And we were encouraged. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair inducing. It's just insane. At this point, sure, back then, I don't think so. It seems like teenager are uh, nebulous area where they're saying Kamara would soon become a demon. As I expected, you guys were just tools to her. She was I think it's you. more along the lines of he forgets what he's written into these characters to begin with. The way she took you, no, in, to be fair, it's no Junk who just fault. gets under everyone's skins. <laughs> you bring in the weak people and attach them to your own. <laughs> like, like, Junk who can talk anyone into murdering anyone, like, that's just Junk who's entire being. The revolution you're talking about. It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? This is like the, um... The... What do they call them? The despairs? What are they called? I think just called the ultimate despairs. Do they have a different name? We would rather her take advantage No, they have of another name, don't they? Adults. The something of despairs. What are they called? The ones from two. I can't remember. Remnants of despair. The remnants. Sounds like it's too late. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. I got there, Warded. I got there. I figured it out. I think you know what I have to point up at him when I already figured it out, fictional. Was also at the ultimate manipulator, pretty much. Because of that hope. We were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon boss? Our parents. You killed your parents? That was a Good job, Beth. Thank you. Thank you. I figured it out. I figured it out. Even further. God damn it. God damn it, Dogma. <laughs> From there, Operation Children's Paradise began. And we started freeing other God children. God damn it. By doing so. The advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable, but just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died, killed by some idiot. When she died, and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do. But Monica didn't despair. 
Well, then she didn't learn from Junko at all, did she? Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment, Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Oh, I've noticed what her eyes look like. Things that didn't okay. vanished. And we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. That is our hope. Having thoughts is dangerous. Everyone stop Christ. thinking. You Everyone really stop thoughting. You're doing something very wrong. We don't need a thought around Justice here. Evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, Justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. I like the way you think. No! No thinking! Stop thinking! This is true, though. This is true. Like, it's that whole thing about, like, who writes history, right? You know, you know who the bad guys and the good guys and the evil and the good of wars and things like that are because the victors write the history of it, right? Like, like, someone has to say what's evil and what's good. And very often, like, if you're not in a room with someone so you know what happened and what didn't happen, very often, someone's gonna get hurt when you're trying to put any kind of justice down. Like, <laughs> he's not really wrong with these things. Philosophical with some little brat? He knows more about the world than you, Toko. I know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? Hoots and no thought. The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Isn't she amazing? Monica. She created them with her special magic. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I don't think about anything. Any I just ramble it's on just about so crap. Talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. H hey! Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone, I think it's wrong. <laughs> After all this time, still saying something so naive, it seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. Okay. We have definitely learned more about these children. I like that kid. I said it before. I really like that kid. That kid could have gone far if it weren't all the bullshit. And Junko. He seems very mature. Well, being forced to study your entire life and being kept up with, like, drugs and stuff probably did that. It's at the shrine. <laughs> this poor kid. I feel for him. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Can you please call me by my name? Y yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? The be hazmat sanctioned for the like creation this? of COVID Running and all away? other diseases. Oh, that's a good point. Do you think the true tragedy was letting Toko out of the school and therefore infecting everyone with her stinky? Nagisa feels more well-rounded in spite of his situation. He does. He does. All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you going to do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course. I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Hey. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Toko, do you 
want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Are you? Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me. Got a PP. So have a good PP. Hey, Omaru. Hmm? <laughs> Quack. Sorry for getting you involved. She's in not this. alone, though. She has a serial killer on her side. And She's never really what? alone. What do you Toko mean? on her own can't survive. The serial killer has to survive. N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. There's really a lack of sparklies anyway. Oh, there's a quack. There's a sparkly. Children know this town better than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found. But as if they knew where I was hiding from the beginning, a monokuma came and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin and her flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. No place to run in the city. Um... It's true that your parents were cruel to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again with that nonsense. After all this, we are well aware that we are killing innocents. But... This is war. When you're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Even if we had years, we would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. But, but consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Wouldn't it be a cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight back? But for you to just do the do to them what they've done to you, perhaps you think we should have stayed subhuman, just accepted no. it. No, not like that. Then you tell me, what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of a normal happy Don't childhood? Oh, stop being such a drama queen. You could have relied on the police, on the government. You're asking those who have had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults. And to be fair, IRL, the police and government do fuck all to help, you know, abused kids. Ever since we five were born in Toa City, our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we'll build an ideal paradise. With all the children in this town, you're talking about all those brats in the helmets? Of course, it's not just us, but also the Monokuma kids, all the children. Funny that all the kids in this town just happen to have murderous intentions like you. Huh, perhaps I've said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. You cannot stop us now. But pretty bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans will never be okay. I didn't expect a demon to understand. I mean, back. You said what you said, Bortage. You said what you said. And what you said was quack. Fuck off the heart. Quack. Oh my god, the amount of times someone's knocked on the door today. It's getting annoying. This way. I'm in. This is it. Stairs? This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. Oh, yeah, the election is on Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right. That's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I... Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. 
Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Hey, my boy! Here's my boy! I don't know why in my early teens, on my way to this house, my mom tried running me over with the car to get me to come back. Seemed legit. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. Same. My dad grabbed me by the neck and had me up against the wall. I had the bruises all over my neck. The police told me I was trying to kidnap my little sister and that I wasn't allowed in the house again. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naegi, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? She's not my friend, she's an asshole. Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Makes sense, I can't run away. My legs and back are broken, yeah. Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise? The funny thing is, I was the one that phoned the police in the first place in my thing, and they still believe my dad over me. You know, this six foot five, six foot six guy, you know, and I was like a five foot four teenager. Please can't be fucking trusted, you know? What are you talking about? Well, they can't it's be trusted. Obviously. But they can't be trusted all the time to take everything a kid says seriously. The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason My dad's an he is an arse. Your mum doesn't sound much better. Their backs. I'm the one who called the police, yeah, but that's what kid that would want us to think. Is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A child? A traitor. Oh, okay. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa, isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. D damn it! Oh, he ran away. That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit. I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Huh? Uh... Now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort? W what are you talking about? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? That's a lie. 
right. You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up. If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. We should go back home. Yeah. Lies. It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me. I went through parents can be fucked up. Sure and then the police just believe the parents because you're a troublemaker. They never ask why people are saying you're a troublemaker. Returning the hacking gun you had lost. You're just a troublemaker. Kuma kids deliver items. That was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items. Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun. But it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima. The one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero. The What's going on with him? The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. I, I, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. But I desperately want to know how Nagito's face ended up like that. I mean... They drew on it, obviously. <laughs> like... This isn't something that's explained in game. You you saw him get cream pied earlier on. You know, he was fine. Then they threw cakes at him. And the next time we see him like this, like, there, there is nothing to tell. That's literally just happened off screen. Like, you were here and witnessed what happened. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. I'm in that 160p. Found on the side of the weak, the losing side. <laughs> Thank you for the quote, Yaru. People are touched by underdog stories, slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. That's what I mean. Like he just showed up like that. They, they, like there, there was, there's no reason behind it. <laughs> But when he when he had the cream pies thrown at him earlier on, he didn't have it on his face. And then the next time we saw him, he did. Like, there is no story. The you were here. You should have seen all this. Talented. They are inspired by such tales. I turned my brain off a bit ago, to be what fair. It's very hot. If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through oh, I don't game, like games. You will grow. Games are for nerds. Boss, no one likes games. For this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. What, what do you mean? I'm hope? It looks like a robot. They just this squ they squiggled on his face. He's been squiggled. Ah, I see. So you I'm still don't the mitten. Understand. I'm thinking of getting a I mitten on my so. new uh, model. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You, you're just as crazy as those kids. You must be insane! Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, 
Now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. I mean, he can't use the hand. The hand is dead. He says that in Danganronpa 2. I don't know if they ever backtrack on that in this game because I don't pay attention enough. But the hand is dead. He, he was never able to take control of the hand. So there's no practicalities to it. He can't use it. Tell me the truth. Unless they backtracked in this game, in which case, I don't fucking know. What are you saying? It, it was a big lie, plot friend? point that he couldn't use. Well, not a plot point, but a character moment in Danganronpa 2 when he said that fusing it with his body didn't do anything. He can't but control I'm it. It's dead. For Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's got to be a lie. Oh, we're right? back to this. Did we not just establish that she's not lying? Answer me, Toko! Answer me, Toko! I actually want to save someone like you. Of course it's not a lie. What? All this time I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko. That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Oh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toku. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from all the these start. words just you mean nothing. To realize it. None of this means anything. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up nothing by the power to Nothing's Nothing worth listening to. No one cares. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? Yes, there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Gotta kill! It's me, Austin. If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you. Uh. Stop it already, Toko. I won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayaki. It will be troublesome if you did not play your role. Future Foundation made that stun gun. The my hacking gun should be able to. I don't have any paralyzed. If you don't okay. defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. What are you doing? Stop! What? Why? Yes! It works on the stun gun. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. See? Now what are you gonna do? To survive, you have to sacrifice something. Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. No! Don't fucking miss. You done already? That's a heart. should be easily outmatched by Toko. If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Oh, 
Ah, she lost consciousness. The bit stripping you through the fight, she is, yes. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run! What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force! You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? No, she didn't! You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? That's it! So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? What was it? Why would you think that? I need he died in that fight. Is that really where we're going with this? You treat me like an idiot? I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. She did quite a few things on her own, actually. So you wanted to give me a chance? In fact, she did pretty much everything against Toko's wishes. Every time Toko said no, she was like, but this might help me and did it. I know you well, too. Just lose, yeah, and probably have to just sit through the fucking cutscene again. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> Sounds disgusting when you say it. At least he well, brushes his teeth. Completely understandable. But are you Though he probably does this? smell rotten flesh. If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. <laughs> Togo! Don't go near me! Run! Don't get your blood on my glass. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I suppose. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Uh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you are something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. No regrets. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful the anime is very well done, by the way. Think it's the the anime scenes, I like. Shame there's no subtitles, though. You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? I also like the fact they went out the way to do the face makeup as well. <laughs> 
where they scribbled on his face in the anime. Get that as a sound now, clip. No matter what happens, you're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know, you're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape. <sighs> Stay. If that's how it is, if I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's <laughs> hey, you know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape. I need a pee so far. <laughs> even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? Ah. Uh. You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting... You can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a Yo, friend. welcome, Cabron. Her I tongue is stay in serial no killer mode. You say no, I, will definitely I don't know. Stay with you this already. game has absolutely destroyed I the last decided. brain cells I own. I am. I am. Man, so annoying. All that lip uh... talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, is it no good then? No. No. No idea. No. What I really like. No. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't even know really what's going on at the minute because my There's brain no is just I off. No. Huh? Rather. <laughs> Thanks. Toko! <laughs> uh, oh. So, um, about what just happened. It, it's all right. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? F friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. I'm pretty sure Makoto well, called her a friend a couple of times. That I have, so you don't have to take it that serious. Also, I don't like how they're kind of changing the dynamic of Genocide Joe and Toko either. Well, guess it turned out all right. If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. Alright, fuck it. I'm going to the toilet. I know my breaks just a ended, but I need a pee, and that was an anime thing, and I didn't want to accidentally skip it. This, I don't mind if I accidentally skip. I'm not going to. But I was worried about the anime bit, but I need a pee. So, everybody, BRB, go, stretch, pee, do everything. Hi, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit things. Added one of mine so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. Oh! Oh! 
I did not notice the corn there. Oh. Hello, Mr. Corn. Gonna make that his his goblin mode emote. He's not allowed his goblin mode thing is my favorite thing, and he now knows it. Butzland. I'm gonna interview the monsters. Hell yeah. Shit, I'm. Well. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh god, you got slammed in the door. The way it spinned. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, what oh no, the hell? The floor was tar. <laughs> Let me close it again. Ah, someone called me after eyes! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what? This actually, like, blow. What would surprise me if, if they made hot dogs even better, right, guys? Like, hot dogs are peak food. If they can make sausages in general better, I will be surprised, because they are peak nutrition right there. I've never made a pun in my life. I've never, ever made a pun in my life. She's, she's basically Waluigi. <laughs> huh? Huh? What? I can try the knife again. Um, the bloody knife is in my pocket because it's useful. And it's only bloody because I used it on myself. Gonna make that his his goblin mode. I am back. He's not allowed his. Coco definitely mode has. Thing is I my know. Thing, and he now knows it. I did not long ago. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. I'm to prevent that. A wound like this will not diminish my resolve, though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Biakia? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You see the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. The police will be at your door soon, along with the FPI. In theory? We don't have the FBI here, fictional, so we don't have the FPI either. They don't have juridis jurisdiction in the UK. He's safe. He is ready to go home, same. Can we all go home? Take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Think America cares? Who is that? There's no way I would tell it would you. It'll be that. the PIA I here, have. thick in it. Exactly. Disqualified from the game. But it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Biakia, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But... Are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit 
Suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't make up her fucking mind. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be alright. Uh, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider. As expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. Except for the dead people. Also all the traumatized people, right? Like, no one's gonna be lived happily with trauma. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both, even if it takes my life. I think most of the last hour has Do been cutscenes, guys. Feet to spare. That's it. Just a little longer, just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. Okay. Kamaro, thank you. Huh? Saying it so plainly like that. It's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I've never really thanked anyone before. Okay, that sounds like a problem. Got him. The machines are still out. That's bullshit. Light bill, phone bill, oh lord. You said there's a subway entrance at the blue building in the business district, right? Yeah, we need to get there for now. What? What do you want? <laughs> challenge. I challenge you to a treasure hunt. You look like a dummy, so I'll be nice and give you a hint. The treasure box is drawn on the map. There are three letters written on the treasure box. X, T, and L. The odd box with the letter that looks like L, but has an X as the real one. That's it. End of hint. QED. I wish you the best of luck. The odd box with the letter. Thank you, thank you. You can't seriously be thinking. W weren't we going to the subway station? Well, either way, do whatever you want. Hmm.
I'm fed up with going to the subway. Didn't we already go there before? We should be going Mecha to the subway. Like, oh, Hello, bye. Ultimate happiness. You could think about your marriage to be What's later. behind me? Oh my god, let me up! Camera. I oh, fuck my life. God damn. Just glad you didn't become genocide bear after that sneeze. That's what you think. Could it be that the letters have something to do with the paths drawn here? You look really pumped for this. Alright, so these are the things I'm looking at. That's got a uh, X on it. The other one. There gotta be a third one, right? They literally said there were three. One's there, one's there. One over here. I think the one of the X is the one, but I, I thought there were three. Can I see the challenge again? Oh shit, there's loads of them, okay. Fuck, I've walked away. Is this gonna affect it? Yeah, you're right. It's not too late for a tutorial. No, 20 hours into a game. Never too late for a tutorial. Pidgey have detained Burn. Burn is a true pilot that, you know, burns off Nekakuma's generated device. There's a high rate of fire, so it's perfect for shooting at enemies who move swiftly. Downright awesome against those beast Monokumas. I think it would also be really good against enemies who are running straight at you. Go try it out. Uh, still either oh that monokuma is flying oh. Oh, Okay, we're getting pretty far from the whole bear concept here. No!
Try not to use dangerous enemies that explode when attack. The explosion is pretty tough to avoid evade. So either kill them in one shot or avoid them. I want to go back anyway. I right, like. Oh. oh, there's a challenge room in here somewhere. Does that not affect the ones in the back? Okay, um... in there and distract them all and try to round them all up right <laughs> oh wait a minute it's water they're all still on water I right, I'm being an idiot though You have to hit this one. Oh, there's a step up. Yeah, we missed one. We missed one, guys. There's an arcade machine over there. Did he start on the water? The shield ones are everywhere. He does, so I don't actually have to move him. I don't have to move. No, I do need. I need to move this one so that he gets everyone on this side. Okay, I only need to move the two side ones. I did wonder at first whether I actually needed to, or that guy was gonna get hit. I fuck up on this there. Coco fucking move. Yeah.
Why am I accessing two? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's have a look at the skills. I can do re raise as well. There you go. There you go, guys. We got a lot of stuff for being, you know, vigilant. So I said an X that was now. Oh, wait. Well, that was completely by accident. I know it was there's two sides to that one. All right. That was an X. Well, that's behind here. There's no way to get there. Oh, it's on the other side. And there's one. Down here. And this is where the Monokumas attack. Here. What? What the hell? What the? See. I see. It was just even more bullshit. Hint for this alphabet problem hidden in the map. I see. 
not interested. What? <laughs> Where am I going? I wanted to look at all the boxes before they gave me a fucking hint. Style bars. Can you drink alcohol, Toko? Or are you underage? Jeez, no need to bring up such a touchy subject. You got this bear? Thank you. Have a good rest of your day, Warted. Unlock them and keep them in place. Hey, good to know. That takes so much fucking. Who needs the batteries? The war between Despair and Toa is near. It's been rumored that a full on war between the Ultimate Despairs and Toa Group is drawing near. Ever since the incident, Toa Group has been doing everything it can to counteract the Despair. We can't really know what they're thinking, but the Ultimate Despairs didn't attack Toa Group and Toa City. But it's hard to imagine that will be the case forever. This stalemate can't continue. It's only a matter of time until the ultimate despair show their true colors. Before then, we dearly hope this incident is over. save i i've kind of my brain just doesn't want to do this anymore today i'm still here for now but there's no saves which is my biggest problem with this These ones are like out of the way though. Where do I start? I'll start up here. Yo, Trash Platter, how's it going?
I'm gonna have to retry. Fight this bell with hope. Ultra Dispair Ghost. Fight this bell with gun. Exactly. The game corner again? I hate that it restarts here. Just restart me afterwards. I don't need to do all this again. If they bunch up near the car, we can defeat them all in one go. Oh, they do say if they bunch up near the car. Hmm. I think I know. Move the car first. No. No. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay, I figured it out. Warren is leaving. He's not dying this time, though. It's going. Alright. Dogma? I don't think Dogma believes you. L, then it's gonna be the X on this L shape, right? Huh. This one, maybe. Sad face. I am. Now, EG family just go. It, it, it's just in the genes, you know? They share genes. Size and relief and checks for its post again to make sure. I believe I can handle this riddle myself. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on helping anyway. That's what I got. Battle skill. Oh, okay, that might actually be helpful. I could go backwards to get to the save, but you never help Toko. She doesn't I have two things in common: dope as hell and having to suffer with Toko. They also both have an antennae, right? Like, look at their hair. They share haircuts. Oh, get in! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right, it's just right at the end. I was watching Yaru play a game yesterday, and his, his character also had an antennae that turned into a flag ah, when they won. As always. Looks like the subway is that way. Well, obviously, we're gonna have to fight stuff. Yeah. Can you all come on here? What? What am I always missing when I'm like point blank on everything?
didn't want fucking batteries to go. Hajime has one too. Hajime does have one. That is true. Survivors of the Killing School Life. Tada! The ones who survived the super famous Battle Royale are these six lucky students. Makoto Naiji, Bayaku Togami, Kayoko Kiragiri, Toko Fuku Fukawa, Ayo As Asahina, and Yashiro Hagakuri. They are currently members of a secret evil society planning world domination. They are the enemies of the entire world. If you find them, call the toll-free number S-T-A-B-K-I-L-L. -L. Stab kill. Nice number. It's that arcade machine again. I wish they didn't have to say that every time we walked into a fucking room with these things. We've been in a hundred of them now. Yes, there's another one. The game likes this. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Fuck my life. Why are we coming out? Coming out here. Just going around. Be careful so we don't get caught. Hmm. Just me. It is. Fuck. I hate this game. This game is not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. I am hating everything. I hate that the starting point is after you've done this. This is such a waste of my fucking life. Every fucking time. Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Yes, I get Listen it. The they're, the they're hiding somewhere. We've got to find them. Blah, blah, blah. So we don't get caught. They're over there somewhere. I hate this. Literally hate this game. I cannot be wait. Can it be? I can't wait to be through with this game. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Careful so we don't get caught. Would you move? Yeah. I, like this. <laughs> I don't want to have to redo all of this to finish the game. I need to get to a fucking... Right, I'm so fucking tired of this. I'm so tired of this. <laughs> it's that arcade machine again. I don't need this. I don't need to fucking touch the arcade machine. I can just do it. I don't need to touch the arcade machine. Are there cheats? I wish there fucking were cheats. Be careful so we don't get caught. Yeah. 
guess I have to go here. Uh, we got caught. Nope. <laughs> nope. There's an arcade machine over there. so we don't get caught. Then I'll just jump over the wall. There's two of us here. I just jump over the fucking wall. Maybe if I run further away. No, I'm going to be right in there. That was that was my bad. I I shouldn't have moved that fast. Hmm. Another game corner here. so we don't get caught. It's that arcade machine again. Be careful so we don't get caught. Where is it? There you go, found it. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> that's such a horrible game. Break them all. No mercy. There you have. Okay. 
am I getting out? Is it over here? Some cat butt, thank you. No, no. I haven't got the actual map because, <laughs> because I turned it off. Or is it just this building with like a no door right here? It is. Okay. okay j just go towards the building that look. Oh my, thank, thank fuck. can't deal with that anymore that that stressed me out no end that really stressed me out i'm gonna work on my bullets though because i know you can like change your bullets around so after stream i'm gonna do that let's find somewhere to go because i need to i need to go and probably rethink my life right now <laughs> i need to go and rethink everything in my life let me find someone to raid My ABC looks like he's still going. Right. I can't even spell. My keyboard's in the wrong place. Okay. Neko Gamer. Right. I am back on Wednesday. Maybe tomorrow, but probably not. We seem to be at the end of the uh, end of the game anyway, so probably we'll just go back to Wednesday and Thursday, and then do some Final Fantasy on Thursday. But yeah, go give ABC some love. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do something I've got a migraine now this game has killed me absolutely fucking killed me but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna sort out my bullets and hopefully have better bullets for tomorrow um and yeah or well, not tomorrow Wednesday but I, I might stream tomorrow we'll, we'll have a look and see how I feel tomorrow I might need some time off and seeing there's only five um chapters we're pretty much at the end of the game anyway so we only really need one more Dream. But yeah. Thank you everyone for hanging out. It has been a pleasure as always. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Have fun and happy Canadia Canadia. Happy Canadia Day. Bye bye.